You're listening to Say It Come. I'm just saying it's a waffle. As a waffle, is absolutely obnoxious. Hey, this is just a song that fits in between genres. We're really trying to tell you that we're down home folks without saying we're country because we don't want the connotation of being good old boys. I trade this, my, my truck, for a, a for an iPhone 1. Turns out it was stolen and no longer works. <laughs> no. The gods don't interfere with what may or may not be a cursed weapon. She didn't care when freaking a demon was in our party. How does she give a crap about a cursed axe? That's funny, that's funny. All right, you're listening to Say It In Common, where we talk about it all, not just Dungeons and Dragons. I'm AJ Cannon. Seth Templin. Tyro Merle. K. Woo! <laughs> wow, like we never left. Yeah, uh, and then also this episode, as always, brought to you by Tiger Skull RPG. Tiger Skull! So go check them out. Uh, they have a Kickstarter going right now for the Scattered Remains. It's really cool. Go f- look at it on Instagram and uh, follow some links to Kickstarter. It's at Tiger Skull RPG. Um, and you can use our code thir- uh, Commoners30 for 30% off everything at TigerSkullRPG.com. Uh, yeah. Cool. Commoners, all caps. Also, follow us on social media and Twitch and YouTube and all that. Good stuff. Good stuff. If we haven't lost anybody because we've been gone for 16 months. No, they're all still there. we got more people than ever. Thank you. We're almost to 10,000 listens. If we'll put out episodes, we'll get more listens, you know. But, yeah, we've got... Hey, I'm taking responsibility for July. Tyrell was supposed to do something. He just didn't do it. I had something. It was my... No, it was me. Oh, it's AJ. Well, here's the deal. Do do better. Here's what needs to happen. Y'all need to figure out a way to play without me. And that way, you can do stuff without me. No, I refuse. I'll see that puts all the pressure on me. That's that's, that's right where I want all the pressure, right on you. Because there's <laughs> there's there's going to be two two Saturdays a month I can't play, and then if I have a show on just one get or married two of the other already, ones, bro. Get her here. It's a work in progress. We really don't want to be here if you're not here. Never fails. No, it's Hello. because I've made myself indispensable by being the only person that knows how to record it. Other it, than that, it is no one your cares fault. If I'm you here. don't want us to help you. If you just, well, let's if just, you just say, I, no, that's Kale, not the case. Could you, could you please come over here and assist me so I can teach you the ways? And I would learn the ways, and then we'd never need you again. Then exactly. You then nobody would even want me around. No, that's not no, true. No, that is true. That's exactly what it would be. If it, no. I think it is. That's not true at all. Seth's on the phone, and we've got some stuff we're going to talk about here in a minute. But instead of... Stay single. Instead of just Stay strong. Tyrell's the only one at the table that's single right now. Mm-hmm. Look at him. He looks ripped. He looks sick. Seth's over Is that there a fresh phone. haircut, Tyrell? Yeah, that looks... Ooh. Some I, sharp edges on that. I cut it myself, that. except for the back. You cut it yourself? Who cut the back? <laughs> My mom. Wow. Tyrell cut his hair himself. Look at him. It looks fantastic. Well, all I did was... It wasn't very hard. Just you put a guard on there. Well, you get, you got a little fade up the side, though. Well, I layered it, kind of. Yeah. Well, yeah. that's not that's not any easy thing to do. That's... Right. I would never attempt that. How many females do you have on speed dial? <laughs> the question is not how many he does have, but how many he could have. All of them. Mm-hmm. Looking fine, my friend. That's all I'm saying. He's better looking than everybody He's else. He's got a dump truck butt. <laughs> Can cut his own hair. Loves Skyrim. Absolutely. I saw this. I saw this video today. It's so funny. It was this this girl you know trying to be provocative and she was saying um if me and you had 24 hours together what would we do or whatever and it cuts away it cuts away to some youtube video of uh tamriel lore and the guy saying <laughs> welcome to <laughs> welcome to siri our video one in this five uh, five video series of uh beginning lore and like uh, fudge <laughs> muppet or something like that. i don't know but it was the most boring thing ever and it just had this like world map of tamriel up okay. there <laughs> <laughs> that's oh that's what gosh. we're gonna do though. Twenty four hours. I'm gonna that's teach you so all about funny. Skyrim. Uh, Sex is so overrated. <laughs> uh, anyway, yeah, it'd be Tyrell. Well, I've been playing uh, Diablo Four, 
absolutely just murdered. That just came it. out or something, didn't it? Ah, uh, yeah, well, like, a like month, or month or two, yeah, something like that. Okay, compare compare me Diablo and Wow. What's what's the, what's the difference? Oh, there's a, there's a huge oh, difference, huh? It's not an MMO. For oh, me. yeah, Diablo's not. It's uh-huh. just like a. No, and it's it's solo campaign game. Yeah, the whole gameplay is different. It's like a mini a mini version of World of Warcraft, you know, power wise, and it's just straight third person. And oh, it's third person. It's like uh, second game. third person. Don't get Tyrell started on Baldur's Gate. Have you played it? I haven't yet. The new one? Have yeah. You, is it yeah. out? Yeah. What? Well, I thought it didn't come out till. Nah, it might not be out. I think it's out on PC. It's on, is that on PC? It's, it's not, not on, on PC. PlayStation. Yeah, it's not on PlayStation. I think it comes out today. I think. Does it? Yeah. I'm pretty what sure. Is it sixty? Yeah. Okay. It's it's the greatest game ever made. Oh, yeah. That's what. You, you that, that's not my words. That's what. Yeah. That is like everyone. Yeah. They're saying it's the greatest it's, game it's ever made. Like one of the highest grossing games on Steam. Period. Like wow, ever. really? Yeah, ever. Why are you not into it? Turn based combat. We're playing D and D over yeah, the top that's fourth that's person weird. view like that. Yeah. 125 no, here's hours of cinematic. Here, here's what I want. Here's what I want from from a Dungeons and Dragons game. I want to not know it's Dungeons and Dragons. I want it to be like I'm in there. It looks like Skyrim, but I'm in D and D, and it's just oh, the graphics are better than Skyrim. Yeah, first or third, far. first or third person, yeah. and regular combat. Just give me my powers. Give me some spells. Whatever. It's not D and D though. It's not like it's. I mean, it, this well, is. I like that's what makes it not interesting to me. If I'm gonna play a video game, I want it to be a video game. I don't want it to be mm-hmm. the board game on the screen yeah, with graphics. That's fair. One of the biggest things that about this fair. game is uh, that I like is that it actually has co-op, and you can actually create yeah. a campaign. You can yeah. start out from the very beginning and go through the whole that game cool. as a campaign. I four play players. Yeah, but four players. I have four players. You got a computer? No, I have a PS5. You it's do have a computer. Players. Well, I do have a computer, but my computer would burn up trying to run that game. Mine too, probably. Yeah. What were you gonna say, Seth? It. I understand. I. I played. Me and Dustin used to play one of Larian Studios' other games, Original Sin Divinity Two, and it is fun. But the turn-based combat, maybe it's better on a computer. But with a controller, it. This might be a kind of game you actually do want to play on a PC, because like, I don't know. But it does look beautiful. It looks really good. Yeah. And it is D and D. Yeah, like it yeah. is, it like they like they're they have made it, and this was Larian's thing. I heard him talking about it. They're like, if you have never played Dungeons and Dragons, you play this first, and you want to try Dungeons and Dragons, you can make your character, what? or it, yeah. yeah. It's it's every bit. It Very is, it, customizable. It rolls the dice. Everything that you do is just like playing a D and D game. They even have a dungeon master on there who is like narrating yeah. the story to you. And it all depends on your choices, <laughs> like whatever you choose yeah. to do. I also don't like, and I can tell you this from playing Warriors of Waterdeep, which is no longer available. It, it, it's not a game anymore. I have the app on my phone. You can't play it. The server is does not does not exist. Which is not. I mean, I'm kind of disappointed because I was pretty into that game, but. From playing Warriors of Waterdeep, there's so much stuff that when you're trying to grind through these dungeons, it all comes down to like you've got to time everything right. Do this attack on this turn so you can use this other person's attack because you're it's a party of four. Yeah, that's why that's why the Baldur's Gate. Yeah, you're controlling all four of them though, and it's turn based. Well, you in order to beat a lot of the bosses, it's just kind of luck of the draw a little bit. But then if you get in there and you're about like you're almost everything's timed out right, and then miss, just fail. For no for no reason. Yeah, that's kind of the way Baldur's Gate is. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's just like, going to be failures. It, there's no execution well, it's of the rolling buttons. A one. Yeah, it's rolling, it's rolling it's, a natural one. Yeah, I know, but that's the good thing about video games. It's like when I execute properly, it should result well. It, it, you know, <laughs> this is a D and D game because like everything you do does roll a dice, yeah. and you get to see the dice roll, and it's not just, it's not just hidden. Like you don't know why you miss. I need to watch it's, some video. I need to. I haven't yeah. even watched gameplays. So I, really should. it's, it's, it's I shouldn't be yeah, adding. Yeah, I shouldn't be adding input because I don't know. It looks but really good. Tyrell's told me a lot about it. And not. Some of it, I'm like, I think I don't know like how well it would go. Say if we if y'all want to stream it or something like right. four, all four of you trying to play it, I don't know how well that would translate. But people are streaming. It's like the most streamed game right now, isn't it? I think some of it, and some of it's extreme. Like there are some highly, how to put it, I guess sexualized content in the game. I mean, yeah, you can have sex with a bear. What? <laughs> yeah, oh, here we go. It's a druid this. or something. I and think. Mind awesome. players are on the table as well. Yeah, I heard some weird stuff. It's on the table. Yeah, there's a lot of yeah. Well, what do you expect awesome. from this crap? It, it's just like, um, yeah, I'm banging any bear that I can. 
It's um, a druid, but yeah. It reminds me of the game. Hold on. And it's a druid who has relations with like the bear, right? No, no, no. It's your, your whatever your character is at the time. Yeah, okay. With That's so druid. weird. That's yeah. So weird. Yeah. That's the only one I've heard about, though. You know, I, I I was thinking about this the other day. Pathfinder. I don't want to distract from the Baldur's Gate conversation for still having Spell that Force. That's it. But I have I've seen that and almost downloaded it before. Spell, Spell Force? Force. Yeah, it looks kind of cool. Yeah, no, it's definitely cool. Have you you play it? Yeah. Is it turn based or is it just like a? Um. Uh. Hmm. Kind of. Kind of turn based, but I'm not just really. Not it's, into turn based. It, it's not really. Um, I say it's kind of turn-based because you have like three main characters. Like these are your three dudes. Uh, you ever play like Civilization or uh, no. yeah, Civilization. Starcraft? Oh, you're controlling like more than one person. Yeah, like you're building an army and a huge base and everything, and you're constantly oh, trying yeah, to take no. more and yeah. more land. Yeah, that's not for me. Fire yeah. Emblem. I grew up on Fire Emblem, and that was turn-based. I love that. I mean, I played what was that on the, the original like Super Nintendo? <sighs> Dragon Quest, Dragon something like that's that. That's a game. Yeah. yeah. Something like that. That was That's a, a game. long. Here's long here, here's my I question. Was Go ahead. It's turn based. Um, oh, yeah. what has, when was the last time a game came out that had like longevity? This Skyrim. one, Baldur's Gate. Baldur's Gate. That's gonna be it. yeah. Skyrim. It, I, I think this is the next Skyrim. World I think Warcraft, people Skyrim. keep saying that. I felt like Hogwarts was going to be it, and then I feel like it's not there. Uh, I, I would Elden say Elden Ring. Ring. It was supposed to be that, and yeah, I think it it's falling off big time. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like everything that's coming out has fallen on its face. One reason that Elden Ring has fallen on its face so hard is because they won't release the freaking DLC. Mm-hmm. That's why. Yeah, that you've got it at this point. And they're not going to release it until next year. The game the, Was the game just not big enough to... No. to oh, it's huge. But it's not it, big enough. To, the story's not long enough to... It's not that it's not... The story's not good. The story is amazing if you get into it. It's just... The, that like there's not enough there's there's so much stuff and everything's spread out so far across the map it's hard to get back into the game for replayability purposes because you've got to go through so many bosses to get everything again this is my problem with the dark souls and the elden ring style yeah. movies i don't know what the story was no clue uh, okay so if you're not <laughs> telling it to me like skyrim skyrim does a good time you, you pretty much know what side quest you're on what the story of yeah. whatever thing is yeah but if you're if you don't tell me like because you have to read things you have to read books and stuff I ain't doing that yeah that's where like Miyazaki is like renowned in his games for the way they tell stories is in the items like the yeah. weapons every weapon has a story to itself and you like you that's piece dumb. it together I can't immerse myself in Dark Souls and yeah. Elden Ring you know it's just well Tyro cool. can that's why I was really yeah. confused about Elden Ring like he played it but then it was like hey he just doesn't play it anymore you just finish it kind I, of. I played it here like a week ago and you have played Dark Souls yeah. it was Dark Souls 3 your main one that you yeah, played yeah Dark Souls 3 I played, I played for like time. five years straight but it's mainly before the PvP though you play for the PvP. Yeah, I play you just for the like PvP. crap on kids. Games really don't hit like they used to. I think we're getting old. Well, well I'm I'm waiting for one that will. I'm hoping Spider Man Two. Like I'm hoping that that'll good. be as good as Spider Man. I thought Miles Morales wasn't very good. It's really short. It was a it was a glorified DLC. I said that at the time. Yeah, it kind of it's a DLC. glorified DLC. Still fun to play. Yeah. But like I started playing Spider Man again the other day because I was going to play it before Spider Man Two came out, and I haven't haven't finished it again. I got pretty far, but. Yeah, that was the last game I was real excited about while I was playing it. Everything since then has just kind of been like... Red Dead Redemption 2 was yeah. that way. They re- just re- re-released Red Dead Redemption 1, didn't they? Are they yeah, going to... Have they, going they or are they going to? I think they have. Because I, I would like to play both of those games. I would like to play Red, Red Dead Redemption I had Red 1. Dead on Xbox 360. I never finished it. Because mm-hmm. I, I had it... I was playing a bunch of stuff. I was playing a lot on Xbox 360 right before the PS5 came out because I couldn't get a PS5. So I was just playing old games. You could get them really cheap at the time, like at Walmart. I, I bought Red Dead for like 10 bucks or something. And I was playing it, and I never finished it. And then I got a PS5 and been playing other stuff. And I looked the other day because I thought, well, maybe I can download it. It's not on premium Maybe it's on, free. They've done something. You, you can download Red Dead something. Redemption 1, but it you have to pay something for I don't remember. It was it, way too high for what uh, it is. I think it was a full price game. I think they charged $60 yeah. for it. Yeah, for the, the first one. Yeah. That, and it's not the remake yet, as far oh, as I know. I thought it was the remake. Maybe. If it was the remake, I, you know, I might consider Maybe. it. I don't know. Did you see that Weird West game? Have you seen anything? You've told me about Weird West. Vampire. You told us about no, that. No. no, that's a different one that I thought about. You playing. told us about Weird West, though. Yeah, Weird West, it's like an over-the-top thing, but it's open world. And it's like, uh, it's kind of like an, I think it's kind of like an eldritch horror Wild West game. Oh, wow. We've talked with about magic. This. It looks cool. We did this, on, we talked about that on a, uh, on a Satan Con? On the road. 
Uh, oh, okay. Going to Texas. Okay, anyway, yeah, I, I still haven't tried that game. <laughs> thought it looked interesting and haven't played that. Huh. Anywho, sorry, I got off the... But yet, from what I've seen of Baldur's Gate, like, the classes in that game look really cool because, like, they've... The uh, totem barbarian. Mm -hmm. They've taken in that game and they've combined all the totems into one Ooh. class and it's called a wild heart barbarian. Okay. Um, and I think they might have changed it, tweaked a little bit with it, but like, like basically... All the different animal totems yeah. you can have, it's all one? Yeah, it's all one thing. That's it's super powerful. When you yeah. level up, every time you level up, you can change the totem to like a different totem. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you just... Okay. Yeah. Oh, so you just pick. You don't... Yeah, but like every time... That's smart. Time. That's smart. For a yeah. Yeah. And like the bear totem still has the same effect where it's like negating all damage except for psychic yeah. or whatever. So you could run bear totem at one time, then you could change to wolf tiger yeah. or wolf. Yeah. Okay. Because yeah. Yeah. I know there's a lot of totems elk. that were in some of the other What's books. Elk. Yeah, there's there's several other ones like eagle remember. eagle and then there's like a deer or something like that yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I mean i i literally think you could get on and make quincy and you could make thrin yeah and you could have your exact like blade, up to level 12 blade singer is not a thing in that game oh, as of not. yet as of yet it will be um that's the thing they could probably add so much downloadable stuff to that game yeah. every yeah. time something comes out in a book they can put it into the game i don't know if they're gonna do uh dlc dlc or like pay to play or whatever well not really pay to play like uh, add-ons that thing, you like, have to that's buy that's what's really surprised a lot of people is they're not being yeah they're not being scummy yeah and it's like super big the whole game yeah. is freaking ridiculous yeah. oh here. it's not like microtransactions no. nope hmm. it is free roam to a certain extent like you go through acts from what I understand there's like act one act two and act three and like you can roam around the whole map and you you, you figure out like what's going on in each part of the map and you can solve like different you know puzzles or whatever it's going on in the quest line does it look like the game board off of Tiny Tina's Wonderlands? No. No, it no. looks like a legit, like an entire real world kind of thing. Going so it's on. like you're running around Sky. And you can talk to Yeah, him. but from yeah. the top down. Yeah, but from the top down. Is it that big? It's pretty big. I need to, I, I, I haven't need to look seen at some, anything. Yeah. I need to watch some. Hey, did Starfield come out like yesterday or something? I think it is out now because I've been seeing people playing it. That's what I was watching while ago. Actually, that's what I thought that yeah. was. I thought it might just be a trailer. Yeah. I thought that y'all said uh, D Dustin was wanting to do a um, a one year play of uh, Dead by Daylight, the twenty eighth, and I was planning on getting my thing out, but I had a whole bunch of college homework, and no one ever said anything, and he ended up. Are y'all are you playing the? Is he playing that solo? What he's what's been going on lately? Um, Exo Primal? No. Borderlands? Yeah, Borderlands. No, we're all four. Oh, yeah, all four doing. Yeah, that? Okay. we're doing a playthrough of Borderlands. That's cool. Uh, one. Yeah. We're on one Very right cool. now. We're gonna Very maybe, cool. maybe do all of them. Oh. But. Yeah, we got to. What was that? The Dull Headlands or whatever it was That's last night. Cool. We're like level twenty something already. Right. That's Very cool. Yeah. When are you gonna get back on? I, I, I almost was going to that day, and I just, I mean, yeah, I've not even turned on my PlayStation. Yeah, the other day, Malachi, I was like, has Seth been on his PlayStation in about seven months? <laughs> Have you played anything? No. Like, not even on your own time? You haven't no. even no. You haven't turned on the PlayStation? Mm -mm. Nope. Man, you need to get back on some DVD runs with I us. I know. I, I want to. I, I still watch a lot of DVD content. Yeah. Texas Chainsaw Massacre looks really good. Have you looked at any of that gameplay? That looks really fun. Oh, is that a whole game? Mm-hmm. Is it DVD basically? It's it, you. It's four survivors versus three killers. Oh god! Uh, it's, it's it's Malachi's like dream. Uh, oh yeah, he, he's always <laughs> saying like twenty survivors and a couple, yeah. two or three killers. But, but it's it's specific. But I reckon that I think that they are going to add more killers to the game. So you got you got uh, Bubba, of course. I mean, and then you is your got, phone ringing? Yes. Hello. Yeah, they uh, they got some stuff in there from in, in Baldur's Gate for for uh, uh, Xanathar's Guide, like class wise, subclass. There's the uh, what's that? What's that Ranger? It's the one. It's like the you're invisible to Gloom anything. Gloomstalker. Gloom yeah, that's in there. That's one of the class. That's a cool class. Uh, but they don't have just everything that's your, ever been. Your, Subclass for Quincy is in there. Wild Soul. Uh, Wild Soul is in there. Yeah, because I remember the one guy I was watching. He's like, "Yeah, I can shoot laser beams out of my chest." Yeah, <laughs> it's like I'm one of the things. I kind of am interested to see like what they make some of the spells look like, some of the effects and things like. 
what spells special are powers cool. look like. Spells are cool. Like I never really thought about like how when you're casting spells in D and D, like your characters like make, be screaming out like these like, yeah. magic words. You know, like I think yeah. like, whenever they fire fireballs like Ignis or something like that, and, like they shoot a fireball out, and it's like this huge explosion. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I've seen people do like ridiculous traps. Like they'll like set up like explosive barrels. And they'll throw them like all around like an enemy camp or something. And they're like friends with yeah. the, the enemy, and then they'll just throw a fireball right in the middle of it. It's like a chain reaction oh, explosion gosh. killing everybody in the camp. Uh, <laughs> there's like literally every single player's handbook wizard subclass in there. There's a lot of different cleric subclasses. Is it limited to a, like a four man and adventuring party? Yes. Oh. I mean, there is, yeah. Are we back on Baldur's Gate now? Yeah, I was just telling them yeah. what's messed up. Yeah, dude, this is going to be sick. I'm so ready for Baldur's Gate. Oh, Star- we, we need Starfield. to get you hooked up, dude. Why are you, yeah, why are you not streaming? I mean, when am I going to have the time? What am, when am I going to You do? play games, don't you? On the weekends. Stream on the weekends. Stream just when you play games, stream it. I'm, re- I'm starting recording my chess games. I, I would just want it on our page. Mm-hmm. So that's what you guys have been doing this whole time, just making random videos on your I own am. time of your stuff and posting. yeah. If you I can't that, play with can. them, so I but would. if you want to like, if if you want to be like, yeah, Kyle streams Saturdays at two p.m. for a couple hours or whatever. If you want to do that, or you can just record it. You play whatever you want. You can record it. We can put it on YouTube. Dustin's got all that hooked I up. I just decided I'm going to go back through all my games and start playing all the games I never played. I just started Fallout Four, so I could do that. Yeah. Anything. It's all content. I always, like, when I thought we were actually going to make this a business and, you know, like, be streamers for... Yeah, before AJ got a girlfriend. (laughs) That has nothing to do with streaming. Yeah, okay. (laughs) Before I had two kids. We haven't seen you in six months. (laughs) (laughs) Steal my girl's name and 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 then she steals you. I think Dustin might have had a Brianna before you had a Brianna. Yeah. That's true. Name stealer. Yeah, that's true. I am also garbage. Are they all three different though, or did y'all figure out that y'all are the same? I think our two are the same. Okay. Yeah. Dustin's is weird. You're not weird, Brian. I'm just saying your name's spelled different. You're weird. <laughs> all all the Briannas are weird. I'm sure. You couldn't you couldn't let me have it, huh? I met Brianna no. once. Couldn't let me have it. I met AJ's Brianna once. We were me and Cynthia went on a date night to oh, some. Yeah. I forgot oh, you did meet her. Yeah, yes. we met her. Yeah. How but, is she? She's fine. Cool, yeah. I mean, we talked for like 30 seconds. 30, 40 seconds, yeah. She come across as like abusive? I was worried about AJ. I was. You think he's different whenever he's around us? <laughs> no, absolutely not. <coughs> absolutely not. He is acting kind of scared. So, I don't know. We're going to have to I'm look into that. I'm just not saying anything. Mental note. AJ. You're not moving to Tulsa, are you? No. Okay. She lives in Tulsa? Yeah. Oh my gosh, What? <laughs> Why yeah, are you this, doing that? This, this is the issue, dude. Why this is the problem. That? Like, when she's here, I don't really want to take eight hours to come play D&D. No, she's absolutely not. That makes us. sense. But, like, yeah. What what are you doing? She's losing She Tulsa. can't play with us. Why? She doesn't know how to play. We don't Neither do have I. anybody else playing that doesn't know how to play. I no, literally am, I need you guys to reteach me tonight how to play this game. <laughs> anyway. AJ said that about himself tonight, too. I'll make her play sometime. Yeah, it's your, phone. your phone's ringing again. Saturday's for the boys, man. Saturday's for the boys. Okay. You know, I swear, 50 years ago, they didn't have this issue. They didn't have this issue. Not only did they not have cell phones, women didn't speak up like they do now. (laughs) Mm -mm. (laughs) When we said Saturday's was for the boys, it was for the boys. Saturday's was for the boys. Or someone was getting hit. And that's just a fact. That's a cold, hard fact. (laughs) <laughs> the misogyny accents. Until they can get on the internet and find the right piece and replace it correctly. Yes, I heard that. I need to start uh, bringing my camera so I can set up. Mm-hmm. I need to set my phone up right now and take a video. Yeah. You've got to have short form content. You have I said to. I was going to look online. I heard it. <sighs> I hate it. Well, if you just put up, you know, funny clips from the podcast and YouTube short, you know. I know, I just hate supporting the idea of short form content this. because it's like I'm not the owner. attention span they shortening. Call them well, crap. Why are they calling you about that? They can, I reckon. That's their prerogative. Believe me, I, I mean, watch I'm my a... fair share of shorts. I, I do. Yeah, alright. Yeah. Well, are suck, those they like suck the TikTok you? videos, the three second ones? Yeah. 
genres drive me insane because it's always something really interesting. That's well, done. that that's that's the thing. It's just like you know what people what people do now. It, like you can stumble upon stuff so much easier because of the short form stuff. Like if you're putting up two hour long YouTube videos, people aren't ever going to watch it. But if you're on a YouTube short and you get something recommended to you that's thirty seconds. <laughs> There's two kinds of people. There really is. Because well, I go out of my way to watch it. long. No, I, I do too. If it's something I already know, yeah. but or like if it's something I want to learn about or whatever. But the deal is, nobody's going to click on a two-hour stream. You know, mm -hmm. probably not. YouTube's anyway. probably not even going to show it to people. Yeah, that's the deal. Yeah. You can get the, the thing about the short stuff is you get the recommended crap all the time if you're on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, whatever. It just recommends you on your for you stuff. So we could slide onto people's stuff and if it gets likes, it stays in the algorithm. That's why you'll have somebody that has one short form video that has thousands of views. We've had that happen before. I see. I don't get Because to see people those. just stumble into it. I only get to see them every now and then when they pop up on YouTube. Yeah. So that's that's why they're so irritating because they're usually so good. I, I one of the last times we we did say it in common. You remember when you had my motorcycle helmet on? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just panned around the room and you were sitting there. It got like two thousand views or like yeah, fourteen yeah fourteen hundred views on a YouTube short. And so me and Dustin were like, we've got to do more of those. And so Dustin started clipping them and putting like one one a week or something up, and they get a few hundred, but nothing's hit like mm -hmm. that. No, we did have one. He had a, he had a Hogwarts Legacy video that did really good. But the problem is they don't result in follows. They result in likes and views. They don't mm -hmm. result in follows, I don't think, as much as, as long form. Okay, well, I'm going to start drinking on Saturdays and playing, playing games, and I'll start videotaping, recording. We need to set you up tonight. Yeah, I mean, do you, yeah, I can. I will. I will gladly do it. Do you have OBS? Well, me and Dustin can definitely get you hooked up. No. You just got to download OBS. You've got a camera. I need the camera easy. set to where you can't see... From the waist down, no matter what. Yeah, that's fine. Because I'm going to make it trope. You know, the, the thing is, I'm going to be drinking, and I'm going to be naked. Okay. And the, everybody's going to know I'm naked, but nobody can see that I'm naked. We just are aware that I'm naked. And well, then you just can't, like, get excited and absolutely, stand up. Absolutely. You, yeah. Can't do that. I don't think you're actually going to be naked. Just put on some boxers. They won't know. Yeah. And then just No, I'm not going to wear boxers. That's, that's, that's a lie. Yeah, he's got to do it legit. He's got to go all the way. <laughs> yeah. Okay, anywho, back on track here. Which track? Oh, well, we were on track of on the console. I think it's time to segue into something else. What time? Actually, hold on, hold on. I got one more thing to yeah, say about ahead. the game. Go so, ahead. listen, I told you I started Fallout 4. Mm -hmm. Gosh, I just, you know, Fallout is garbage. Brand here. No, as far as more. I'll check it. You talk about it. It's, it's, Fallout is garbage, and I, I just, I honestly, it's, it's getting in, it's the way the, the, freaking, the whole setup. You know, you go into your inventory, the pit boy, like just everything about it, it just irritates the crap out of me. I mean, definitely Fallout is not my favorite Bethesda like IP, I guess that they have. What is cooking? Oh, careful! It's all good. It's all good. You been losing weight? Yeah. I Dude, almost asked. Do you have any ibuprofen? Oh. How much weight have you lost? You look small. Yeah, yeah. Hey, you look good. You need I some don't. new clothes. You're having to tuck your shirts in. I don't know. If you would cut your hair off, you, your face... Dude, are you okay? You're not on meth, are you? No. <laughs> no, right now I need ibuprofen. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's good on meth. He, he just needs the ibuprofen. Whoa! Dude, my gosh, he looks good. Has it we been that long? We haven't seen anyone in three months! <laughs> I mean, he got on his little diet and walking and exercise and things. I'm, I'm, I feel like a slob right now. I haven't worked out in two weeks. No, dude, I'm, I'm, I've lost a lot of weight. How much weight have you lost? Like 90 pounds. Wow. Congratulations. Well done. Way to stick yeah. to your whatever. Your face been doing. is so small. Yeah. And his clothes are all big. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, what, see, what, I'm, that's what I was just telling my coworkers. Like, I'm actually buying bigger clothes. <laughs> <laughs> that's all it is. That's all it is. It was like Anthony used to say, "You could carry if you carry around a bottle of water, you look skinnier because yes. everybody thinks you're healthy." Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, am I sitting over there? You were gonna sit where Seth somewhere. is, but you can cool. sit somewhere else for now. Maybe you can just yeah. flop over here. And I'll get that mic recorded. Uh, I am That's Kyle. That's where Kyle was sitting. I am Kyle. Okay. I, I am Kyle. 
Yes. Thank um, you so much. And if you need, uh, there is wonderful, some, wonderful host. There's all natural, medicinal uh, ibuprofen over there. Let's see if I can do this. Yeah. Dry swallowing pill sucks. It does. How would you dry swallow a pill? Oh. You didn't offer him a drink. Because you have any water. <laughs> what a crappy host. <laughs> <laughs> so what y'all been talking about so far? Baldur's Gate 3. Uh, uh, Baldur's Gate 3, Starfield, Armor Core. I want all of them. Oh, thank you so much. Yes. Too many games, yes, not enough money. I'm fine for now. Uh, he was talking about, Kyle was talking about uh, Fallout 4. And, well, Fallout in general. I think he was... Oh, but like I was saying... I've always just absolutely hated Fallout. Always hated Fallout. I've always thought it was just absolute utter garbage. But this second time around... Story or combat or... Every freaking bit of it, dude. (laughs) Every bit of it. I cannot stand it. No, I agree. I completely agree. I I couldn't get into it. New Vegas was awesome, too. Everybody says New Vegas is awesome. I haven't tried it. I've only played three, I think. Three's good. This time around, you know, I... I went in and I added, uh, I did a bunch of mods, no cheap mods, just oh, things to make the game uh, a little bit better. Modders. Yeah. Is it performance mods or are you talking about like... No, add I more? add things to the game. Right. Like, so I don't blow my brains out. It's just like, there's not enough going on and the stuff that is going on is like super, it's like stupid. I just expect I about so playing much. Fallout again here recently just so I could listen to the amazing soundtrack. The music is so good. you have a good soundtrack? Oh, the music's awesome. Just turn on the radio, bro. We've been having a blast playing Borderlands again, Mm -hmm. and Tyrell steals all our stuff. (laughs) Not intentionally. I I, I (laughs) lose stuff. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you you about this the other day. I got a couple Tyrell stories, (laughs) but first of all, the one when I realized (laughs) that he was taking all the gear, we killed something that was fairly large and dropped a lot of gear. We fired the last shot. He goes down. Crap goes everywhere. I was like, oh, there's a blue gun. I turn around to look at for it on the ground, and it is not there. I think he grabbed it before it hit the ground. <laughs> Everything was just gone. I don't pick up a gun unless I know I want it because of its value. If no one else wants it, and I'll sell it. Or because it's a gun I actually think I might use. And I'll be sitting there looking at it, and then somebody woke up, gone. What? It was white and it was trash. I just wanted to make sure it wasn't an assault rifle. Well, then my favorite one the other day. The other day we killed some boss, okay? And Dustin had given me this legendary rocket launcher he started the game with. He kills himself with he it. He got all the legendary. Well, I don't think I killed myself with it. I run up I run up to this dude. I fire every round I have in the thing right off the bat. I just ran in there, fired it all at him. He goes down from full health to half health. I go down shortly thereafter. I'm sitting there emptying a shotgun into him. He's got that much health left, and somebody else kills him. And I die completely, go back to the start of the map. While I'm gone and running back in, they loot the entire room. <laughs> and I get in there, and Malachi goes, there's some gun boxes up on the, that stage up there if you want to go get them. I run up there, and it's just empty boxes. <laughs> <laughs> and Malachi said he was sitting there looking at me, and my character runs up there. I look at the boxes, and I just turn around and look at <laughs> <laughs> so who's Brick? I'm Brick. Okay, he's get, starting. To you're get the you're Mordecai. No, no. Malachi is Mordecai. Okay, yeah, of course. Lilith. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Rolling. What do you guys you always play Borderlands. I, oh. I love the Soul. I love I love Rolling. I That's been all fine. I've ever played. I would have been fine. I like all the sirens. And I like all the soldiers. I don't like the berserkers. Only I like any of the berserkers, and I like Zero. Um, and I like I like all the characters in Borderlands. I started all the cl- classes zero. are good. I started a playthrough with Zero a while back on Borderlands too, and I like Zero. Zero's a good character. He's all right. You guys not playing that horror game no more? DBD? Yeah, yeah we're still playing. Yeah. They uh, they wanted to play Borderlands Friday, so we did that, and I'm totally okay with that because I, I could do without losing and de- done de- Dead by Daylight all fucking day on Friday. Mm. Yeah. We get some rough breaks on there. Alien. <laughs> we haven't oh, we haven't dealt with him yet. Yeah, yeah. we we we, we have been. Yeah. We have been. We've been playing just Alien looks broken. Being it's that tr- it. those tunnels are crazy. Those tunnel and they're, they're so cool. Like, Alien will be one of those if you're really good with him, you're gonna be a real mm-hmm. pain. And he has good perks. He has good perks. Well one one of the deals, one of the reasons we decided we might want to play Borderlands on Friday was because we played Tuesday night and Alien had just come out and we didn't play against any other killers. Alien, 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 Alien. Uh-huh. And he needs nerfed because 
they're always uh, they're always a little busted the cr- out. The when he goes into crawl mode, it, you you can't. You I have mean, to use the flamethrowers. It didn't help. They're not strong did. enough. Yeah, it, it it, it'll stun enough. him, but he can walk right into him and destroy him, yeah. and he's right back on your. Yeah, butt he in two always seconds. do his pop him. Yeah, I've seen it. But and then his tail attack is so powerful. His tail attack over is, over has, over went through windows over pallets. It, yeah, he goes clean over a pallet. It's longer than um, Nemesis, but I think it's smaller hitbox. So you have to be more precise with it, which means higher skill cap, but still deadly. I think it's that. longer than anything, other than maybe trickster knives and and right, hatchets. Traditional from, range killer. It's yeah. kind of like playing the Huntress if the Huntress is is twice as fast. Yeah, because the Huntress is really slow. And probably more accurate because... No, the, but the alien doesn't get bloodlust. No, no, that's a perk. Oh, it's a perk? Okay. Yeah, he can get bloodlust if he's not running his perks. Okay. His perk, I think, is going to be really good for uh, for killers who uh, struggle to maintain bloodlust. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I want to I wanna get him. I want to get alien because... He looks cool. Did you uh, buy him, Tom? I bought the whole pack. I did oh, buy that's what I think I'm going to get. But you play, have you played with him as a killer? I have not played as a killer. I, I started playing as uh, Ripley. I haven't... I played her a little oh, bit more. I, she has a good perk too, but her her put a satchel on the uh, on the knocked over pal. I don't think is going to be that that important. Is but, it only viable against alien? Like, or does it just satchel, slow any no, killer it, down? It fl- slows any killer uh, down. Uh, yeah, it, it's it's you just rig a pallet or whatever. I don't know. It's, I, I didn't know blast mine puts a little thing on top of the generator. I had yeah. no idea. Well, the, this does too, but it's way more noticeable than blast mine. I mean, it's clearly like a little. It's a little satchel charge on the the thing. I forget she has two. But killers pallets. have to break pallets, so I mean. Yeah, it's, but the thing is, is you also have to place it. And I think you have to prepare, repair a gen just like blast mine. I think, so you have to repair a gen at fifty percent. Then you can place a satchel charge. Okay. But we'll, we'll mean. I've got to get back to playing some dead by daylight. Yeah, you do. I yeah. I, I thought I, you, when you was wanting to do a one year thing, and I tried to. That's in September. Oh, September! I thought it was August. Okay, no, so the end of September. I, it's it's I think the twenty fifth. I will I will be a year, a year from our first us. game. It'll be as close as we can get by playing. Well, we definitely need to play. I will. Yeah. I'm that day. I'll try to be there. Okay, set set the date. Yeah, I thought it was this past month. No. <laughs> I, I was just waiting we, for y'all to say, "Are you go, are you coming, Seth?" I can't no, believe we, we've been playing it that long. We started playing in September last year, just before October, because that's when it was free on PSN. The first time, you know, the thing about the game is like you just have to get to where you can accept losing a lot. You also have to dedicate yourself to playing because the second yeah. I stopped playing, I mean, even playing as Killer improves your performance in the game. Because now I used to only play Killer when I wasn't playing with you guys, but I was still getting progressively better. Now I only play on Fridays, and I, I know I'm holding everybody. Oh, I'm sure I'm trash. I'm sure y'all are way better than me. Well, I feel like I'm a million times better than I've ever been, and I lose more than I ever have. Well, it's a it's, it's except for maybe when we first started MMR playing. or what or no uh, what do they call MMR. So the better you are, the better yeah, killers know, you play against. I know. See, that's the thing that Texas Chainsaw Massacre does not have. Sometimes you get sweaty. I have killers. not seen Spooky Loops' video, but he does. He does. He, he's doing a comparison video that I saw come out last week. It looks going. good. I mean, I've seen the Chainsaw Massacre, but he was doing a like pros and cons. I just each. don't know how many. They say sur- it's not a DVD killer. I don't know how many survivor survival games I could handle at yeah. once. No, uh, I, I I prefer game variety. Which, if you look up anything about streaming, is not the plan. Not it's not what you want to do. Really, you want to find a game that you like that has a popular a following, and you want to niche into it yeah. until you generate enough of an audience that, that you can they'll follow you to anything else. Right, and that's so. What we're doing isn't the way. But Screw the you know algorithm. <laughs> yeah. We're not about that. We do yeah. what we want, and if you like it, you can yeah. you can follow us. Whatever. Yeah, it's it is what it is. <laughs> I'm Go follow also, us on Twitch. I should also be doing like three shorts a week. That's never going to happen. I hate making those things. I was just saying earlier I need to have my camera set up in here so we could have some. Because we say funny crap all the time. Yeah, we're hilarious. Dude, my, my, uh, and everybody, here, let me tell you about a quick pet peeve. Let me tell you something right here. Okay, the short form content. Yeah, it's a big deal right now. Right. What people are doing on, I mean, I'm sure it's on, on, on oh, YouTube yeah. shorts. It's they're faking podcasts. Have you seen this? They set up. You always know. You always know they're doing it. Went like okay. So everybody that like if people on Joe Rogan, they use those Sure SM7Bs or whatever they are, which is that big black mic that everybody yeah. talks into on podcasts. Yeah. yeah, they're super expensive. Well, apparently, Sure microphone company that makes that mic has come out with probably like a cheaper version because everybody does podcasts now, yeah. and it's just 
black mic that looks similar, but it's smaller, and it says, sure, real big on the side of it. If you see that mic, it's not a podcast. It's people acting like they're on a podcast, and they sit there with a mic in front of them and face away from the camera and act like they're talking to somebody. There's nobody there. I know there's nobody there because when you're watching one that's actually a clip from a podcast, they'll say something and the camera will swap to the other angle and the other person will say, oh, yeah, 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 I agree with that. There's none of that. It's just one guy going, yeah, so what I've discovered is if you do the boat, there's, he's not talking to anybody. They make it look like they're on a podcast that's to make yourself look important. It makes me so mad. That's funny, dude. That's the first funny. time I noticed that, I, I unfollowed a guy. He was like a, He was a sound engineer, dude. From somewhere around this area, maybe Missouri, I don't remember. Anyway, I'd followed him because he does similar stuff like what I do. And he was like, a lot of his videos were like, he was showing how he like digitizes or like uses computers and stuff to mix in live audio situations. It was kind of cool. He was showing like what he does at different churches and stuff. Then he started posting these videos sitting in front of a mic like he's on a podcast. And he's not. He's in the same room that he's in when he does his, like, tutorial videos and stuff. It's just his little home studio, and there's nobody in there with him. Well, he might be doing a solo podcast. No. He's acting like he's at, somebody asked him a question. Oh, uh, okay. In the caption, it'll be, like, like the question that supposedly was asked. And it's him going, yeah, so... Like, somebody asked... No, nobody asked you a question. It makes me so mad. Oh, he's like simulating a podcast environment and responding to like a comment. Yeah, maybe it's question comment. I don't think so. I don't think it was. I I think it's people want. They think it it looks more official if you're sitting there with a pair of headphones on in front of a mic. It looks like you're on somebody's podcast because they thought you were important enough to invite you on their podcast to talk about your thing. (laughs) There's this one dude uh, on YouTube I used I, I was following for a while. He just talks about pools. He's a pool guy. He just he's a professional pool guy and he he has a podcast but he talks by himself about pools and he just comes yeah. up with a topic and he just talks for 45 to an hour you know that, about that, pools. That's fine. And you can tell like Theo Vaughn a lot of times just talking to the camera yeah. and he, on his podcast doesn't have guests on there. Uh, Michael Chandler, MMA fighter, he has a podcast. It's just him talking to the camera. There's I nobody. can't imagine talking by myself. Well, you can tell in their clips that it's just them talking to the camera. They're not acting like they're responding to a question that yeah. didn't actually happen. Plus, they're actually on a podcast. Since, since AJ brought it up, I've, I've just recently discovered Theo Vaughn because I was logged into our YouTube page and I was like, uh, I don't know, I was doing something. I clicked on one of the, I was logged into our commoner's YouTube page. And I clicked over on the right and I'm just listening to this guy. I was like, I was like, I was telling, I was telling my girlfriend Theo about him. And I was, she's like, yeah, apparently he's real big on YouTube. And I was like, well, apparently AJ likes him because now he's in my yeah, day. Sometimes, sometimes Kyle reminds me of Theo Vaughn so much. Kyle? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Same energy. Also, Austin Cannon. Shout out Austin Cannon. <laughs> Very similar energy, yeah. Yeah. That's good. Very <laughs> you know who Theo Vaughn is, Kyle? No, I watch, I think. Oh, you think he's, you know he's, he's a comedian. Talking, you know what it was I watched that you, I think that was recommended to you through our podcast uh, or through our YouTube? It was Theo Vaughn sitting down with, uh, who's that guy that did the MMA stuff? Joe Rogan. No, 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 no. He was the, the no, no, no. He, he Brian, fought. Brian, oh. Joe, Joe, he, the he, ice. Liddell. No, 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 no. He, he, he's, a, he's, a, he's a YouTuber, or no, he's a streamer. Jake and then, Paul. Yeah, Lo- one of the one of the Logan Paul. Paul, one of the Pauls. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the one that fought. He yeah. was doing a podcast, and that idiot said he doesn't want to die on this planet. And Theo Vaughn was sitting there, and he's like, "Wow, what a rich thing to say." <laughs> <laughs> it's like that was that was yeah, great. He's really yeah. funny. Yeah, Theo Vaughn's funny. Yeah. Okay, moving forward. Yeah, you want to talk about the campaign or the last? Ca- yeah, we haven't talked yes. about the campaign. Yes. Kyle doesn't uh, even know what happened. I don't remember. How to play. Well, you didn't listen to the podcast. No, I you haven't. I'm okay. garbage. I'm in the podcast. Dude, we all have new like, characters. You, do you think? Do you think actors watch their own movies? No, they I, don't. I re listened to the entire campaign again this summer. Sick, but you're not uh, even in the game. I am the game. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Kyle. Here's here's what happened. So you know, we, we fought at the orphanage. We fended them off. You and Urus decide it's best to go try to talk to Beatrix about why Chick turned to mist and we didn't actually kill her. Beatrix. She's on our side? No. She's the one that owns the curiosity shop that we talk to all the time. Ah, yes, okay. The pocket dimension shop. Okay, so y'all want to go talk to her. Which was not smart. A terrible the, idea. The the way it was explained to us is you say you killed the vampire. Earth says you didn't. So you decided in the middle of the hallow spell to go find out. Yeah, we're going to go talk to Beatrix. Sounds about like Rask, right? Yeah. So meanwhile, not Arrest, but I don't know if it was before or after y'all left. Vistrid was killed by the things. They surrounded him, drug him down I'm the hall. No, not Vistrid. While y'all are gone, of course, we get attacked again. 
and uh, it by the other the other sister. Not yeah. not hinted at at all by Seth saying I really want y'all to go through multiple fights without a long rest. Not hinted at. Yeah. So I had zero rages left. Um, Thren did a bunch of damage. We'll let da- we'll let Dustin go into that in a second. Why would you anyway. send us off? Why would you? Because you, Cause you didn't come here. to the game. Why you play our characters though? Because you could have killed our. Boys. Because that's kind of sad. Because a y'all yeah. could get killed, and that wouldn't be fair to y'all's yeah. players if your player if if if. So let's say we had to make a tactical decision, and it left you in the middle of the combat because that's what Rask would do. Mm-hmm. And then you come back today, and we're like. Here's a character sheet, buddy. <laughs> have fun. I just want—I just want you guys to know that is fair to me. If you ever have to nope. do it, I will accept. I have—I pl- have played Rask before, yeah. but I'm pretty it's, conservative. If I don't show up, I, I was in the prison when there was just no way we could ride him away. Right. Yeah. So anyway, yeah, that's pretty much. If you miss the game and we and we play anyway, that your gone. character's gone, and then we're we're screwed. Basically. I appreciate that. I definitely so we fought, it. we fought, and we managed to fight him off and it finish the house. Literally spell. killed Catherine. Yeah, it was killed uh, her. Did kill her that she's time. She's dead. Touch she and dead. go though. Touch and go. I Tate got... went off. Tate was a monster. Yeah. Man. Too bad we didn't know that there was no way there is a, like a one percent chance well, that he five. fails to check. No, but he no. Had an inspiration. I take that back. Two point five percent chance he failed his first, and then five. And then he had. Raised. Then he had an inspiration. But if if someone did massive damage, it would have went up. Chances. We only saw one spell like that, and that was what hit. There was, and that was harm. Wait, did, did he finish the the thing? He did finish off. He finished it. He I want to bring but he something had up to... though, <clears throat> because I, I like I said I listened the whole campaign, and y'all hated Millicent Millie the. Yeah, yeah trash. Lady. Y'all hate her because she had a death dog that she showed y'all. You know, that's what first set y'all off. And then she sent the uh, Capra demon to fetch y'all to get y'all back in with uh, Oren, all that. How dare she have a demon at her disposal that she's using? And we got Mr. Thrin over here summoning devils. No, no, listen. The oh, reason that was, was a, that was a rough situation, too, because. And I asked him about this. Ideally, we should have all started attacking that devil because I didn't know. Yeah. I, I, I joined after you summoned it, yeah. so I should have. I definitely metagamed because. I but was I asked. I asked him about that because, and and he has a great answer, and I love it. Well, the reason I created it, or well, yeah. use that spell. Yeah, use the spell gotcha. was because I was formulating it. Was, was the word I was trying to think of? Uh, was because of Thrym being transformed more or less into or slow you know changing into the uh, human so you're darkening his magic to show his like darkening yeah, yeah, soul that's, that's great cool. role playing love it well yeah but yeah. also I just always assume that when somebody casts something it like glows a certain color so we know it's theirs <laughs> <laughs> it has a little ally tag right over the head yeah. just like in the video game <laughs> exactly yeah. Devil. Yeah. Yeah. I was just imagining like a fiery <laughs> portal thing just this thing drops yeah, out this the guy drops yeah. in with like just, a green aura yes. and we know that it's Thrins <laughs> Yeah. yeah, if I walked in here and y'all were doing the podcast and there was a devil, I'd be like, that's Tyrell's. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't worry about that guy in the corner. He came, he yeah. came with Tyrell. Yeah, that, that dark spot in the corner, he showed up with Tyrell. No, the reason, hey, the reason we didn't like Millie is because she lied a million times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you listen to that back, do you not see? She's trash. She's not, horrible. And when we were right yeah, about not, everything. Y- y- y'all assumed the first place. And I think I leaned into y'all's assumptions, actually. I don't that think she, she was, was actually witch. supposed to she be She wasn't going to be a hag. I don't think so. She was just a low-level caster. Yeah. Okay, well, she, now she, you made her a hag. So yeah. she's she was bad news the that's entire the, time. That's the DM's prerogative, though, and it makes yeah. players feel good. And it was her fault that that town was getting attacked. It was her the entire time. She's trying to act like she's helping. No, with it her. was not her. No, it was, the other, it was the other one. It was her fault. They want, It was because they were coming for her, though. Yeah. If but, she would have left town, they would have stopped attacking. Well, she didn't think they would. She thought that they, that woman would just go ahead and keep... Also... Because they're adding numbers to her their, their army. Also, we're it's a part of Seth's world, so it's his interpretation, but hags are very selfish. They're, they're, they, they deal in souls as one of their currency exchanges. Well, yeah. They don't... She wouldn't care. As long as they don't kill her, she doesn't care that the town would suffer. It's it's part of their... Like, their uh, are you m- saying m- Millicent? Th- no, I'm talking about hags they're, in general. Yeah. Well, yeah, like, well, yeah that's what I'm saying, though. Specifically yeah, night hags. Yeah, night hags are the worst. Yeah. yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. Millicent, exactly. she didn't care She didn't care that the whole town no, was getting attacked. Yeah. M- Millie, I think, is a green hag. She's a, she's basic hag. Right. And then... Uh, yeah. um, Delilah. Delilah. Gorma. Gorma it was, uh, is the next step. And then Sissy is maybe even worse than a night hag. I don't know. Hopefully if we, we ever even go to that thread, because yeah, I don't know if it'll ever I, become a thing. Yeah, yeah. They can be the big bads of the next campaign. 
because they were left. I unchecked. have this campaign. I know how it. Sh- I, it I, it's going to end one of two ways, and I cannot wait to get to the end of it because I really want to get to the next campaign. So if we play the next campaign in the same world, depending on how this one ends, yeah, it'll be connected somehow. Still, Palexia. I'm just like. Uh, uh, not is Robert Palexia Hardin. is Palexia a planet or just a country? A planet because I'm a crappy DM. <laughs> it's a fly yeah, <laughs> it's just like it's like. It's, it's very small. It's very, very small. small. It, it's, it's, it looks like Asgard. It's just a, it's, a, it's like a bowl. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think I, I meant it to it just, just be a floats. country at first and then just, you know, made it the whole world. Or it's all we know of the world. That's all that you know. Yeah. Maybe sure we think it's the whole thing. In other words, you can assume that from this world's uh, language, Polexia represents what we know as Earth. Yeah. yeah. Polexia is how they say Earth. Or maybe it's or, just or Eurasia, everywhere. and they don't know that there's something across the water. <laughs> <laughs> but like Draxus would know. Yeah, you know? he would know. Yeah, and he's taken over at least the biggest port, part of it. So yeah. Okay. Yeah, Tyrell showed me his map that he created for y'all's campaign, and it just puts mine to absolute shame. <laughs> I, I, I've, I've been working on that map since before we started playing this campaign. Okay, that's why. <laughs> That took a long time. I, I get that, Tyrell. I, I, I have a homebrew thing that I'd like to do, and I'm like on the very early stages of stuff. Like I, every now and then, I'll be like, "This is the lore. This is the lore the players never find out about." <laughs> <laughs> so, what are we gonna do today? I don't know. I asked y'all, and no one to answer. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm asking Dustin. Um, I don't know. I, I I have been so busy. I haven't honestly thought about it. Look, we're just gonna sit here in our hallowed hall, and <laughs> yeah, we're <be> like. <laughs> Uh, we won. Never we won the game. We're, we're never leaving. I'll this is our home. Check game. with Anthony that he knows, or I'll double check with. And then Buck. he was going to make me dispel it. <laughs> I was like, I was like, Buck, you know if this is dispelled, right? You know beyond a shadow of a doubt, you will know. And if he, when he says yes, I'm going to say, if this place gets dispelled, we leave <laughs> and we stay we here. Spell it. Like what? And what, what would spell it? Spell is a level three spell, I think. But you can upcast it. Yeah. And they, yeah, you said they cast the level eyes. six magic. And what was Hallow six? If you cast a spell at six level, it that's all you have to do. It's just a six level. I don't think spell. we have seven because right? yeah, I only have six. So. Um, all you have to do to get rid of a spell is usually match its level. the 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 way to defeat it is to match its level. You don't have to surpass its. And level. And that says that on the Hallow spell, that's all that has to happen for it to go away. Mm-hmm. Just a spell match. Um, Great. In, in your next campaign that you have, uh, did do you have like space or room for for our characters if we make it out of this? I don't feel like my. I don't. Feel, I feel like I'm gonna die eventually. Like probably soon. <laughs> we discussed no. AC actually. No. You have the lowest AC, and you're the first in the combat usually. Always, dude. Always. I don't know how. Tell you because at this point we've lost everyone that was disposable. The only people that have died are people that it. it we, it's not original well, members of the party. Died. Technically, they're all there. They're just not around. Well, no. I mean, like or, or, Corvus. Oh, he was there oh. for five episodes. We weren't that attached to Corvus. He was only there for five. No, maybe. maybe. I know. It yeah, felt like, like this is. This I think is probably terrible. no more than that. And then, um, and then Vistrid wasn't around that long. Ren is practically Corvus now. I mean, oh, pretty much. Yeah. Actually, he's because the more he becomes like Corvus, the worse he. I love that he's worse off for being a vampire. That's one of the funniest things ever. But yeah, if it was like, life. if it was. Buck, Thran, Quincy, Urist, Rask is, was there since the second or third episode. Gillard is is huge. I can't. Believe, it's crazy. I, I still consider uh, Kyle a new player, but he is is he's been there since, since episode three. I think. I think it was three. Yeah, three. I was when, was when we got three? to yes, Girl. three. Yeah. He is pretty much an OG. <laughs> Didn't know he left and he he played and then came back. Yeah, he only missed one episode. Cynthia pl- uh, played for it. Like took he was gone for one episode. Yeah, he missed episode well, four thought, or five. I thought he regrouped with y'all in Derry. He did. Oh, was that only one? It was episode? actually before yeah. we got to Derry. Yeah, we thought he was going to be gone for a few. I think, yeah. and then he just came walking up the next yeah. day. How do I still not know how to play, man? Because we don't play enough. It's been like three years I now. You know, really do know what you're doing. One kind of is, is actually plenty. No, you do. You do five. Well, we you don't just, play once. Just, a, we haven't played. In, you I just think if we played once a week. I think you would still get confused. I think you're probably right. And I think I, I cheat confused. a lot by accident. To be yeah. honest. Well, you, you got a lot you going. Your character's got a lot going on too. It's impossible. Free, Tate's cheat. the worst cheater of all. I know. Uh, Freaking great webmaster. Great webmaster for, with a, for 40 episodes. No, that's still stupid. 
<laughs> Still just as stupid. That's funny. It's a, supposed to, to balance out small characters. You shouldn't be using something that's really, really heavy. But it is kind of dumb. There I've always a, said I would let a there, small character use a heavy weapon. There should be a conditional sword. rule that if you're small, you have to have a higher strength requirement yeah. to or overcome just, your size. A, a heavy weapon needs a, re- a strength requirement. Like, yeah, I mean, yeah. That so, would, like, that someone would. talked about that. Like, a, a barbarian halfling can't pick up a heavy great weapon, axe. a great axe, but a 99-year-old wizard can. with a strength of six can Careful. just because he's tall. That don't make any sense. Yeah, yeah I, I agree with it. I agree with it. Oh. I put waters in the fridge because I think it was you and Cameron. I can't remember, but you Thank and you. somebody was looking for cold waters one time, so they're in the fridge. Thank Thanks. You. I'm not trying to go back to Baldur's Skate, but I'm just going to mention the fact that, uh, like, in that game... Thank you. Thank you. They actually have like where like dwarves and halflings and stuff like that can use great swords. Mm-hmm. It's kind of funny looking at the way they carry this great swords around because they're like they're holding it like this and yeah. they're like stabbing. And it, just make that part of your character. Like that's yeah. cool. Yeah. Yeah. I have a lot of plans for today. I don't know where we're gonna go. I don't. But like, well, I'm, I'm glad I'm you have a plan sure. because none of us do. We don't really know what to do. I think the plan today is to make the plan. We that's killed kind of one of them though. I we know. almost. What if we would have killed? What if we would have already killed the other one? What if we would have killed both of them? That would have, like if Anthony if had y'all would have killed the first one, I wouldn't have brought Catherine in. Oh, okay, right. <laughs> I really didn't think y'all would kill. So Catherine. you wanted us to kill one? No, I don't. Mm. I think he wanted to poke I, us until yeah. we either bled or we finished no, what I we never, were trying to do. I, I would not like. Well, I mean, like you were trying to either make you were, yeah, you were basically I wanted keeping to, us busy. I like. Until I, I I keep talking about this in our pod on our site and comments. I like my thing now is just making wrinkles and trying to make interesting comments because I like there's so many of y'all and y'all are so high level. I can't I can't defeat y'all. You really, can defeat one of us. Yeah. But that's, well, the th- yeah. and that sucks. It's, I don't. But think I, that's I really just want to try to make an interesting combat with with a with a wrinkle that might take a little bit to figure out. And once you kind of yeah, figure you that, yeah, you know, and I, I, I hope think you've done an excellent that. job. I hope awesome. y'all enjoy that. You know, but it's also we're one attack away from a really bad situation. A lot, dude. Yeah. Every fight. So I <laughs> have every fight. I, I was telling them this, and uh, when we were playing, when we were streaming Friday night. But I've started. I'm going to start doing for some of the shorter combat. And if we do a five hour combat, I'm not going to do statistics on it. It's too much. But I'm on turn eight right now, and I'm, try, I'm going to try and track all the damage we take, all the damage we deal, the missed attacks, which is what I'm going to go back and do, the nat ones and the nat twenties at least, yeah. and then healed and temporary HP. That's cool. And I want to do like this. Critical is, role has people to do that. I know they I have know. people who That's, sit up there and Danny. scribble stats. Yeah. Yeah. yeah Danny. Wow. Um, but uh, I want to do that, and then I want to do like who fits the traditional role for this combat because we already know he's the DPS. Yeah. To, to point that threat over here, he did three hundred damage in two turns. Holy crap! He did no one forty on one turn and one sixty on another turn. All of a sudden, got so good. He just he just hitting started, lots of people. Well, yeah, yeah he hit yeah, a lot yeah, of people, yeah, but true, still, but just that's having that's, that's 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 all damage we had to deal. Yeah. That's the whole thing. That's that's where AOE is superior to mm-hmm. single target damage. Yeah, if you if we're all focused on one boss, then yes, Thrange damage plummets, and then he's more in line with the rest of us, possibly even lower than the rest of us because we have our modifiers to bolster our damage where he doesn't with mm-hmm. a lot of his spells. Yeah. So, um, you, yeah, you give us a one on one enemy, you're going to see where everyone's one to one damage is. But when you give us a group, he's going to shine every yeah. time, and that's cool. And that's what wizards do. But he's also a tank. Because I was like I was on I was on turn eight yes, he was. and he he came back down to the ground and they were missing him again and I was like I've got to go back and and figure out all the missed attacks so there's no telling how many attacks he soaked just with his natural twenty well there, uh, there's still AC. no tank like your echo my echo <laughs> no I think he that's why I want to go back and because I was I was tracking missed attacks against my echo my echo <laughs> I think my echo soaked in at least let's see we had six in one round. Because Seth had three guys, two attacks each, all missed. That was six attacks. Um, and then later on, it was like two attacks, one attack. Um, then I had the the Shadow Martyr where I absorbed an attack, and then it got destroyed. And I had to, re- I had to resummon my Echo three times that I know of. Um, I'm pretty sure I went down at one point in the camp, at one point in the fight, which I haven't got to yet. So that have, uh, yeah, had to have happened in, on turn nine or ten because I'm only on turn eight. I'm on the. I'm on the turn where Quincy went down and Buck picked him back up in the same turn. That's where I'm at. That's, that's around eight. 
and I just, I, don't just, I just want to see like like who's our like I basically just go like the I remember tri- us talking like how many natural ones and natural I rolled a lot and that that's what reminded me because I actually said it when we were doing it. I was like I, I gotta track this stuff and I was listening to it it was around turn 7 I was like I, was like, I didn't track natural ones and natural 20s that was a that was cause a yeah I, my my, uh, my initiative was a nat 20 for that which mm-hmm. I was saying when I rolled it that's the worst time to get a natural 20 yeah Unless you get a surprise round, then be a great natural twenty. But yeah, we don't get surprise. Do they get surprise rounds on natural twenty? That's how you. That's the only way you can get assassinate is if you surprise someone and go oh. before them. And wow. Then, yeah. Okay, but yeah, I think it's gonna be really cool. I haven't finished it yet because I didn't work on it last night or uh, or today. So it'll be cool. I'm gonna post it on our YouTube since I don't. Uh, Sarcher said he looked and he didn't see where we had a comment section on a podcast. So I'll just do it on YouTube. And just say you can go there for stats, I guess, for combat for combat games. I'll have to do the little spoiler warnings on them. I think I know you can do that in YouTube. I'll have to figure out how to do it. Uh, but I think it'll be cool and find out like who. So basically, every combat who meets the four traditional party archetypes of DPS, healer, tank, and support. I don't know how I'll do support. So it'll probably just be the three. MVP kind of thing. Yeah. yeah. Well, s- support support would be like anyone running control magic, which would have originally been Vistrid. Vistrid. But now I don't know. I don't know if we have more really a support anymore. I guess Quincy could still I support. I can. I tried. And technically, Buck and and Erst is a yeah, could but, be a play support role. It, it depends <coughs> on it depends on what you qualify as support because it, it, it fits a lot of roles. It can be debuffing the enemies. It can be buffing your allies. It could be. So that's how I found about tri- about Triant Monk on YouTube. Is he made a god wizard and it was just support he was just battlefield control and no like and people thought like he he, he people complain you don't have fireball you're a wizard who don't have fireball what kind of wizard are you but he's like he, he talks about it. he's like he went into a campaign with this support wizard and no one like every the dm was killing someone every game before that and then he came in with this support wizard and no one died the rest of the campaign and they still told him that his character was horrible and he's like y'all just don't even realize what i've done yeah, it's I, really I, cool i love fall i always find myself falling into that support role when i play a lot of games especially because i love it because you can't quantify the effect of a good support you yeah. just can't it's it's hard to uh to, to to put to pen and paper in terms of skill it's not you can't show their damage you can't show their healing you can't show what they absorb but their their impact is always felt i love the support role myself that well that's one thing i really like about quincy is i can do that like when i don't have my rages mm-hmm. which you did but, you switched to casting but then they weren't working and, and it's not that my save is low i mean my save is fairly mm-hmm. high for not for being a half caster it's, i think it's, it's having some like 16 or 17 and there's some things that i can do like i mean fairy fire bane all that stuff is actually fairly powerful bane is a good spell mm-hmm when you go to when you got can high, make all the difference sometimes when you've got high AC characters and then you're going to start subtracting a yep. D4 on every attack and we have yep. some high AC characters yeah everyone but but uh, Rask. Rask 19 well, actually, what's, what's what Earth 20 you know what? that's 20 when Blade Song is well, yeah which right. is like almost 18 always or 19 does he that's I mean does he have he has chainmail I think right that's 17 no he has medium armor right. so it's yeah a plus one or plus 18. two I think it's yeah. it's not that like Thrin is wearing such great armor that his, no I know it's, it's, that it's the yeah. it's because he's it's so nimble and shield and then shield which that's a that's an expendable you know you're you're paying for that yeah yeah, yeah. and not, well with blades on it adds like plus five it's your intelligence to your AC because right. you're supposed to be moving around so much mm-hmm. that you're not yeah easy, easy to hit and then like uh, so plus you have, you have a fifteen naturally yeah he just gets a plus yeah five. yeah but he can get well, he gets to twenty five. almost everything because that's still high for a wizard it's my I can wear a light armor. I get I get studded leather armor. What's that like? Twelve plus your so you have a sixteen dex, I guess. Yes, okay, that makes sense. But yeah, I'm I'm nineteen. I think. What are you? I'm eighteen. Oh, you're only eighteen. See, that's yeah. strange because it feels like you're. Well, the you tank. have a shield. I do have a shield. Yeah. I don't have a shield. Yeah. I have a shield and a ring of protection. I have yeah. a fifteen. I, armor class. Gillard needs a better weapon. <laughs> Oh, here we go. You yeah. do a hundred okay. damage in a okay. turn. I don't when you I hit. When when I hit, but here's when the thing: I don't hit. Fight. And also, I have been giving my stuff away since I started this campaign. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> I think I've given my cloak away twice. Yeah. I don't even know if I have it. No, you got it back. Yeah, he gave it back. Okay, to you. yeah, I've given it away twice. He has my ring. Uh, I've given my yeah. I've given my warden ring away, uh, but I think I still have it again. I gave it to somebody a while back. I gave it to someone because Just the anti magic ring because mm-hmm, we were worried about something. Was it during the behold the beholder fight? Did I give it away mid combat? 
I don't know. I feel like I've given it to somebody. I think I got it back though. I'm, I does does Tate have a ring? I think the only two rings besides yours, Quincy and Thren have. I think I, I might have given it to maybe I gave it to Tate to do something. I don't know. Can I wear my ring of protection and my anti magic ring? Anti magic doesn't take a slot. It's not. It's, it's not, not a an tune. enchanted item or an, it's oh not, okay. It's Sweet. It's a passive. Bonus. Which I didn't give y'all magical items. And I realized after that listening to that last game. So that's a little retcon we have to make tonight. That when she died, she dropped a few things. Cool. Um, did she drop a glaive? <laughs> she, she, she had a pair of of hand axes that I know y'all don't use. How many? Uh, nope. <laughs> how many attunements uh, do you allow us? Four. I, bow. I think four. A bow. Yeah. I do have one. I think uh, I told I me to ask four. you for it. I didn't forget. <laughs> I think I have four. Uh, is the loot shield magical? No. No, it's not. No, My, it's I have a plus a, one spear. I have a plus one. That's blade. not attunable. That's not. That's not attunable. No, plus no, one. It's just. It's just a. Your sword's attunable. Passive, yeah. Oh, my sword is what I'm thinking. You're attuned about. to your sword. He's attuned to the ring that I just gave yeah, you. Yeah, the you ring. Also, I have ring of protection. Swords attuned. Yeah. Ring of protection's attunable. Hands. So that's the three. hands are also attuned. So I think I only three. have three. That's your, that's three though. We only is have your three. hat attunable? No, it wasn't attunable. I don't think the disguise. Oh, the disguise hat. The disguise hat. No, because I, I think it was just I like a, a minor magic item. I think it just it just yeah. Okay. The only two things that have this magical is three. rebellion. I think we're only three. Oh, did you say four? I didn't know that. I thought it's three normally though, right? I think so. Yeah, that's what I thought. I, I mean, almost want to do five, but that's just... How about just I knowing? See, the, the way that I would do it, the way that I would do it in my campaign is I would say three regular and one legendary. And then you that way people can't attune to multiple legendary items, which yeah, is where stuff gets real bad. The only class that can attune to more than that is that uh, artificer, artificer armorer. I think is what I it is. The yeah. armorer subclass. It's, it's but that's because he makes a bunch right. of garbage. Yeah, it's crazy. And like, but I, like he said, their armor counts. As I kind of like a, think of it as a, a video game almost. Like you could put something on your head. You could put one yeah, on yeah, yeah. I do that too. Gloves. You know, yeah. Chest, Breast legs, legs, pants, yeah. shoes. It, it's rings where you get really busted because yeah, you can have ten of them. <laughs> yeah, bling bling. <laughs> Kyle, what you got going over there? Uh, you know, I, I keep meaning to make you. To I keep meaning to make you another character sheet. We did make him a new character sheet. Yeah, I got a new one. Oh, okay, I good. Just, I actually put off a new one. So my one thing I was putting yesterday. peaky peaky in the uh, one of magic missiles. I could almost. I think I. Could I make sent him a video. I can make ex- showing him how to use one of magic missiles and how powerful a one. One of magic missiles is sick. Although I am confused. Was it I'm, machine gun one where you, they just burn all the stuff into one blast? Um, because usually when it comes to D and D videos, they don't want this. Apparently, you can add of, all of your all of the charges, charges together. Yeah, just. <laughs> I can, I can one yeah. two. It's just Although it's situational. They they were saying use it against uh, yeah. someone concentrating on a spell. Yep. Because every single one that hits a concentration is a check. concentration check, and it's just more chances for them to fail. Mm, right. It's stupid sick. Yeah. So unless it's they like, cast unless they cast shield, and then that entire thing just goes. Oh out yeah, pressure. that's true. There's also gloves of missile sna- snaring. Can you use shield? And that can catch. Yeah, that can block blocks all magic missiles. Well, blocks. Is it all in a turn? Missiles, gloves of missile snaring. Is that just one magic missile, or is that all of them for the turn? But it's a reaction, so you can only do it once. I just don't know what. I, sure. I'm not. I'm not sure this extent of it. But that's another item that was specifically one of its abilities. Is can catch. Rask catch mis- uh, yes. arrows right now? Yes. Yeah. I can catch arrows and yeah. throw them back. And throw, and throw them back. back with a key point. What? It's a waste of a key point to. Does it ca- it? Does it cost a key? I point think it's to a reaction catch? to catch and it's a key point to throw it back, and that 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 is a waste. <laughs> That would be sweet, though. But it's yeah. not a waste if they're. It roll. It takes away damage from you. So, like, if someone hits you, I roll damage, and then you roll your key, your monk thing, against it. And if you get it to zero, you catch it and you take no damage. It's a way for you to take no damage. That's yeah. Sick. Yeah. I love monks. Yeah, they're cool. Monks are cool. I don't know why people don't like them. Well, because they fall off. They're one of the At biggest. high level. Unless you unless you have a DM who gives you a one d eight one d six weapon, you know. Yeah, that you don't want to use because yeah. you're because your uh, hammer's better. Isn't that right? He goes through I got, periods. I got a lot of weapons. I know. There'd periods. be periods he'd be like, okay, I'm ready to hurt somebody today, but then it's like, okay, let's get the hammer. hammer. <laughs> <laughs> Dagger. <laughs> you, you start every every combat I, throwing a hammer. You know? I imagine the way it goes down in Kyle's mind oh, is he's like, yeah. how much how much do I want to risk today? 
And when it's everything, he takes out the punching daggers. And when it's not everything, he throws the hammer, forgets, and runs in anyway. <laughs> I just live on edge. Yeah. <laughs> That's fine. I love I love Rask. Yeah. Rask is a very fleshed out character, I think. And I've helped do that agree. myself. Yeah. <laughs> Anytime you're gone, I play you think him. So? Yeah. The 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 more uh, the more you work into your character's mindset, you the easier it is for other back people. Back in the monastery. Yeah. <laughs> here's <laughs> He's like, yeah, you know. probably role play him more than that. <laughs> but here, here's here's the deal with Rask, is we always say it's just he's he's Kyle, but the deal is like I always thought, well, okay, does Kyle role play or is that just is Rask just Kyle, whatever? No, Rask is but then he played Orlean, and he role played. Role played it well, yeah. completely different. Yeah. So therefore, Kyle is a great role player. Yeah. He doesn't just. It's not like every character is just Kyle. Right. Yeah. No, and that's what I was telling Seth. I'm actually really excited for the next pal, campaign. Right? I think I'm going to do a pound. It just depends on what you give us for you options. You want to be religious? And, yeah, yeah, there's no gods. If we play the same Dude, world. I want to I want to play uh, Druid, a Paladin, or a Sorcerer yeah, so bad. Just kidding. You want to do what? I want to play a Druid, a Paladin, or a sor- or a Sorcerer so bad. I miss magic. I miss it. I've, I've got I've got this great character. And you're keeping it a secret. I've got yeah, like seven told characters. Anybody. I have I have a seven. character I would I would love to play and it is a a divination wizard and the whole concept of it is I just want to re-roll dice all the time. I want to have that I got one of those ha- his name is Luck and he's a sorcerer. Yeah, I want to be a halfling, halfling and I want to have the luck spell and I want to have uh what's that one's that Silver one first bars. silvery bars. Silvery bars. Important you know, portent is where you roll two dice and you can just give dice to someone. Like if you roll a natural twenty, when something comes up, you can be like, "No, you can take my dice, and that's just a natural 20. Or you can roll one, and if someone attacks you, say, "No, that's a one." I, it, the whole concept is just roll dice, and I think that'd be so fun. My version of that is also a halfling with the luck feat. With instead of divination wizard, it would be a because I like sorcerers, yeah. so it'd be the uh, uh, divine sorcerer mm-hmm. because they have us. They have another, so they have another luck fe- feature baked into their kit, and I would be doing it'd be basically the same principle. But yeah, I was like that would be really fun. The character, uh, there's only one wizard that I want to play, and it's cheating because it's not actually a wizard. It's a thergy. Do you know what that is? It's the wiz- It's the wizard that steals cleric stuff. I want to do a thergy wizard that's based around the concept of a plague doctor who's juggling with the inner turmoil of 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 basically being someone who helped kill people during wartime, but also is supposed to heal people and kind of balancing between that and then deciding at level three or whatever level, I think it's level, whatever level you choose your third, your cleric domain, choosing between uh, death and whatever cler- whatever domain I would actually take. And I think that'd be a lot of fun to do too. Cause Some of us have watched really cool. the second, enough of the second thing of Critical Role where their characters are just completely different. The first campaign, they're all heroes. The second one, they're just villains pretty much. How do we, how would we go about? It? What would our second campaign be in eight years when we finish this one? You know, oh, um, what would what what well, would a we? A big part of it would depend on how this one ends because I feel like the this ca- like this group of characters are basically low lying rebels. I, I wouldn't consider yeah. them. Ne- we, they've done, we haven't done anything her- well since Gillard's joined. There's not really a whole lot of her- heroism. It's been more. Uh, rebellion. Yeah, that's right. um, they did do a heroic deed that made, named them the heroes of Juniper Grove, but since then they've really been acting in the interests of we themselves and the and the rebellion that's currently going on. So I consider them more, this more of a rebellion campaign against uh, against uh, the yeah, acting. It's more we, we're just doing what we have to do. Right, yeah. I, I don't consider this a very heroic campaign. Right. So if this campaign were to go down in a, in a blaze of flame and death, I imagine our next campaign we'd probably end up rolling very heroic because we would want to uh, basically avenge our avenge previous our campaign. Yeah. yeah, and I feel like that's how it would go. If we succeed, then it entirely depends on that first campaign, that first that first game, yeah. kind of what, what we all come to the table with. You know, we're we're very we are very heroic in this one, but at the same time, like we're not. Compl- There's been some opportunities to be bad. Yeah. Yeah. If Tate would let me, I think. I mean, Tate Thren, would let me be bad. Thren's dark. Urus has had dark stuff that he avoided. I tried to make Urus I, dark. I kind of wish he would. Cameron would not Cameron. do it. And then Rask. And that's fine. Rask I is kind of dark. I shouldn't have pushed him so much. Gillard's kind of dark. I could say Gillard. I regret Urus a lot listening back to the campaign because I had a vision for what I wanted his character to be, and he just wasn't interested in playing it that way. And and I. Felt no, 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 no. That's not your fault. <laughs> that's I not your fault. Made make a hex blade. Warlocks are cursed. <laughs> Past classes. Yeah. 
It's not your fault. <laughs> he should have picked divination, so you could have told him no. Not divination. Uh, divine. 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 Celestial. Celestial, celestial. warlock. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I asked about gods before I started. Or Archfey. I mean, Archfey aren't necessarily evil. They're very yeah. chaotic, but they're, they're not evil. Yeah, they're, which actually would be more in line with what Seth wanted anyway, because they're just more discourse. Well, I did think, introduce I think he. Them. I think he had a, 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 he, he had a build he was trying to I don't like that. <laughs> right. And he, pointed at AJ, did not do that in any no, face type or form. So no. it's like... I know, oh, but wait, everybody enjoys is. the game in different yeah. ways. Yeah, they do. Yeah. And you ha- and I, it's my job to make sure everyone... And I enjoy game. bad stuff happening that just makes me a random character, you know? <laughs> That's kind of what I like. I, I, I don't know how viable Quincy actually is. Like, What do you mean? Quincy... I, it's very hard to make a barbarian. Yes. Very hard. What do you mean by viable? Words, like, powerful? The, yeah. The time where we saw one, it was entirely a joke. And it was the, uh, what was his name? The actor from, um, uh, yo, uh, give me your tots. Uh, what's that? Uh, Napoleon Dynamite. Napoleon Dynamite. He was a bar, he was a barbarian. And he was a, uh, he, I, well, I thought he was a barbarian. Was he I, not? I don't. I oh, think maybe he, he maybe he was totem a duck. of the duck. I think he was. He just was a totem duck. of the duck. I thought he was also barred. Maybe not. Maybe that's somebody else. I could. The, I could have the deal is, yeah. I don't know. I don't know how powerful he's going to get. The deal is, if I, I'm probably going bar, barbarian all the way up. Are it, you? I it, you? If I going. went barred all the way up, I'd probably be more powerful. But if I go barbarian all the way up, I mean, I'll obviously keep getting stronger, but it won't. Yeah, I don't think anything crazy is ever going to happen. The only thing I'm missing that I'll, that I'll miss from Barbarian is the 20th level stuff. I think I get everything else. Yeah, plus four to your strength and con. Is that what it is? Yeah, they can break. They're the only class that can break the 20 cap, and you were never going to be able to break it anyway. And the only thing I'm stats. missing from Bard, I, I, even if I went all the way up from here on with Bard, I would never get ninth level spells. So no wish. No. That sucks. So I'm kind of stuck in between, and I may kind of, I may kind of cap out, but we'll see what happens. So you 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 plan on going the barbarian? I think I'm going barbarian the rest of the way. Like the way I, I'm kind of let, I'm letting each level decide itself, and I just feel like he's definitely more barbarian than he is bard. I'm not going out of my way. I mean that learn. makes sense in a rebel kind of game because you don't have time to just enjoy. Yeah, you know. When did I sit down to read a book or right. went to learn a song or yeah, whatever right. about being a bard, you know? I've done what I can. Yeah. And I've gotten some decent spell casting. That's such a wild. I don't even know if I could do that. Like cuz I kind of do come up with a concept of what I want my character to be. I'm willing to mess with it. like Thordak, you know, when I just I I decided, "Oh, you know, it would be cool to go fight or paladin with him and then let the role playing decide that. But yeah, just 50 50. Like, was I angry this past couple games or was I more, you know, well, I'm, I'm looking at it more games. like that's hard. When we were in combat, what was I doing? Was I being a barbarian or was I being a bard? And most of the time, I'm being a barbarian. I think, with the exception of the last game, you've almost always been a barbarian. Yeah, I have. it's always the first option. If I have to, if I get low on health, I have to back away and try to cast. That's it. But like, if that's all the experience he has with that, then that's why would he know how to cast a sixth or seventh level spell? That's a tough way to play too. Because every now and then, I'm like, I want to dip and do, do something and work with Seth. But then I'm like, but I don't get any of that cool level. 17 through 20 fighter yeah. stuff. Dude, when I get Legion of One, oh, Seth's not going to like me. Let me see what level. When I make two, two echoes. Two echoes. Oh, that's sick. Oh, my oh, gosh. Two one. echoes? Yeah, level 17. Are you about to get a third attack? No, no. I'm, I already have third attack. Oh, you do. Okay. Right, I'm, I'll get fourth attack at, like, level 15 or 16. Uh, no, what, what I'm looking forward to is my next two feats. At 12th level, I get a feat. And I think I'm going to take... I think I'm going to take a completely unassuming one. And I'm going to bump my strength up one point, And I'm going to... Have you used Hex in a while? Mm-mm. I haven't used it. I, 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 I printed out a page and listed, these are my actions. These are my bonus actions. These are my reactions. You didn't do that for Kyle. These are my free actions. <laughs> and I was like... And then uh, for my reactions, I was like, these are the two situations for my opportunity attacks. Because I'm getting sick. Because I'll just sit there and say, like, what are you going to do? And I'm like, well, there's like six things I was going to do. And then he used his reaction. <laughs> so I don't know anymore. <laughs> you know, I think, I think I did look and like, if I take any more bard levels, I think I'm hurting myself. Mm. We need to go shopping for goggles of night vision. 
That's the other thing. Like no, that. I like being handicapped. I don't mind. No, it. No, I don't mind. I'm, it. I'm, I'm sick. I'm sick. I don't want, I can't attune to them. Well, um, I might can. God, I saw something that gave oh, you, you can't protection from good and evil. Because I was looking at Magic Initiate. I was like, is there any good Magic Initiate stuff so I could, stuff I could get? And you know, protection from good and evil gives you protection from fear. Oh, wow. Like just no fear from all the listed types of creatures, celestials. Uh, celestials, fiends, undead, aberrations. And I want to say there was a fifth one, but yeah, no fear, no possession, no third thing. Thanks. Period. Face probably the third one, yeah, or the fifth one. So I was like, I hate fear. I hate fear so much. I need this spell. <laughs> fear is one. I remember of Dustin's, when that messed with you and uh, yeah, in, in Rudy's game. In Rudy's game. Fear yeah. is one of Dustin's biggest handicaps. I don't want to be scared of the ghost down in the basement. I always, because I, I always play a character that wants to run in. If, if I'm not playing a support, I'm playing a tank. That's my two. That that's was my, a sorcerer, even. I, it, he ran in. Yeah. And who else was going to run in? Well, Thordak did, Thordak. but I was right behind you. Um, I've got. I've well, got, I should have been. <laughs> Kelly was. She she ran in with uh, armor she, of Agathus. You no, know, she changed that when she found out she was using armor of Agathus. Oh, wrong. Yeah. Yeah. I've got to get to fifteen barbarian for, for persistent rage. Was that oh, just so you can rage? Rage you can only ends things. if I fall unconscious or choose to end it. Isn't there one that you can rage and? Now you still no, use your of, rages though to. St- Park to park new things. Yeah, unfortunately, I think right. The thing that you get where you get unlimited, isn't there unlimited rage at level like eighteen or nineteen? I'll never get that. Yeah, he'll never get that. Unfortunately, that's level twenty. Wow. Oh. No, 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 never mind. It's, Sorry, no. It's yeah. It's no, a- that's not we're, relentless rage. Starting at eleventh level, your rage can keep you fighting despite grievous wound. No, I don't see anything. I thought there was one where you, there's no limit to your rages anymore. Persistent rage. Was, uh, I don't know, but I'm I know the rage too. I know in the next maybe. On the next game, I'm gonna like I'm gonna make sure that I dive deeper into your world. I don't feel like we like experience the world that you've created enough. I feel like we kind of just follow the path of of what you have set out for us, and we we really just do that every time. And I I, I don't feel like I've fleshed out. I feel like my mind Ag- Anthony yeah. told me this before. He's like. He's like, I re-listened to the first episode, and you like the, my my opening, and I was like, y'all reached a lot of my opening. Like I've talked about the trees dying, like that was a big deal. Like I I think that y'all have explored my world fine. Yeah, Kyle, yeah. I think you're assuming that Seth has more out there in the world than there is. I know. <laughs> he would if we ventured off. But that's of true. The, I could make yeah, up more if I path. needed to. Well, because we, we already know there's two different bad things happening. There's whatever happened to the dragon, and there's whatever happened to the trees. And we've never actually ventured into that because, in my opinion, that was kind of supposed to be Oren's plot hook and Oren's gone. So it's like, now that plot hook's gone. I, well, we I know, though. We know just, now, though. I told him over and over what was going on, and he just like is like, I don't believe you. I well, listened to that. I was like, he, he's like... You mentioned these books of fairy tales. I was like, no, I, I, I said that, yes, but I was explaining that what's going on is not like something out of a fairy tale or a but book. But we know, is. we know now after talking yeah, to the dragon right. that that's so, what's going Cesarin on. told y'all, yeah, about Night Razor and everything. So now we know. So there's not anything more to to go find out about that yeah. because we know. And and the world's just dying because it's old. Yeah. I yes. just don't feel like we force you to. Like, we don't put you in scenarios where you're forced to make stuff up enough. And I feel like I could do it. Like, oh, I could do nah. it so easy. Uh, we're also... The higher level he gets, the harder we can make things on Seth. That's well, cool. it's also that we're always... We're very mission... Yeah. We're very object- objective-oriented because none of us... None of our characters want to be doing what we're doing. Right. Well, we also... There's <laughs> there's things on the line that our characters have an interest in. Like, Giller doesn't want those little girls to get murdered in right. whatever situation, which is still kind of... I try to maintain pressing on, on his mind, even though we keep getting put in situations where we're like, we can't do jack about it. And I try to play like Giller is smart enough to know dying, to do, dying accomplishing a goal and, and only to fail doesn't accomplish anything. But keeping the goal in mind in the event that maybe you can succeed at it is something I try to keep playing. So I keep trying to keep, I want to keep him pushing forward, but at the same time, man, we'll sit there and plan and plan and plan. And then we're like execution time. And Seth's like, screw your plan. (laughs) Don't do that. I don't feel like. Well, you don't. It's it's not that you do that. It's that we'll plan for 20 minutes and we just don't know how wrong I actually heard a DM talking about this. (laughs) They said, they said, do not let your players plan because things yeah. fall apart. Yeah. And that's, I mean, that's probably a little bit of the DM's fault because, like, I have 
the encounter kind of planned, you know, right. how it, how well, it's going to be. It, it, it's the same. But the thing about it, though, we're, we're it's like I said, we're rebels and we're planning. And that's it also falls of it. off the rail. They're like, you can talk about it for 20 minutes, and that's not interesting to a lot of people is the 20 minutes of talking about it. And then one wrinkle changes everything. Right. Know? But and it's also like, like we're. Yeah, I mean, but that 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 wouldn't. I be, think it's entertaining. Be honest, though. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, and we, of course, you're going to make a plan as players to do whatever. Right. It's, I always enjoy listening to y'all, and I I really do not go out of my way to, to, to no. Try I, to I, it's first. not no. That's not anything against you. I just it's like we're sitting there and we're planning. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to start a smear campaign against Bathory. And Seth's <laughs> like, this will never work. <laughs> but we there is some of that. Like y'all were like. She ran out. There was plenty of people out there, and she's in she's in charge of the media. You know, right, she, yeah, she, I know. she and so like y'all are like it, she died, y'all. Any, any she died, and like no, she didn't know. Oh, yeah, it's like, she it, definitely didn't. Dude, I'll grab any opportunity, <laughs> even if it's a bad one. I'm like, look, it's like smear campaign away. Well, I think <laughs> we also, funny. I think we do that to Seth. We ruin his ideas because he's got you know we're gonna have an encounter here with an aboleth. No, I don't think we're gonna do that. No, we're just gonna do this instead. <laughs> y'all hard knowed that one. <laughs> <laughs> Just you know, I think we've gotten around stuff a couple times because like, when we smuggled the kids out, it worked. You know, we didn't have to fight black cloaks or anything like we kind of thought we were going to have to do. For you. Oh yeah, 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 you're right. I I thought that y'all would be doing it at nighttime. I thought yeah, that's how I would have done it. I'd I'd have just went at night and opened yeah. the gates, and it would have been a stealthy mission. You know. Yeah. That yeah. No, I love the way that y'all got the kids out. That was awesome. Yeah, we've. I think we've done some things that have. And if Seth wanted to ruin it, he could have. There could have just been a black oh, yeah, down dude, there doing when, a random yeah, search and finds a, kids. It's you know? like, well, he's off of his patrol. What you do? And he took a piss in the <laughs> alley back there, and now he's off his patrol, and he showed up. And it's like, hey, how are you doing over there? And it's like, well, we're going to kill us. See, I, I mean, I, I wish we'd have paused that one game, actually, that same game you were talking about, and you come and told me, I don't think Quincy can make it. Let's just leave him here. And, you know, that would have been interesting. Yeah. Well, I was trying to. But I was they like, did not want to leave. My me there. painful thing of it was like, I just don't know. Like, I guess you could have made a new character for two sessions. Yeah. Like, I mean, you and AJ could get together, record a little mini, like what was that going been on. Fun. That would have been. Yeah. They wouldn't have done it, but they would have yeah. been fun. I could have just not played. I mean, I, yeah. I would have just come and recorded That's it. True. But I, yeah, I was so, trying like, to make it boring. Like you want, and yeah. I felt bad for Tate. Two two combats in a row, not doing it. He did get involved yeah, in that last involved. one, you know. But I mean, like, that's why we joked about. It. At least we were at his house where he didn't have to yeah. drive. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, yeah. well, I think we've all been there where we've been here and it's been not an exciting game for our characters. That's oh mean, yeah, I felt but, so bad for Cameron multiple times for like he just. It seems like he didn't have anything to do in a game, yeah. and he's driving how many hours? Like yeah, part of it. Yeah. When you got seven people, but you on the have campaign. to make yourself get in. Yeah. yeah. Oh no. Well, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And saying yeah, I do that too is not getting involved. That's yeah. not. That's and that goes to anyone playing D and D. That's the cool thing about D and D, like that I've heard like people talk about improv, and I don't think that we think of this as improv a lot, but it is. But like Very you need improv. a good part of improv is being able to say yes and. Like I know, you're I know. doing that, and I want to contribute this part to it. Right? Yeah. Yeah. See, my issue is we'll be in a situation, and I'll be like, Killer doesn't care. <laughs> Killer's just gonna go back to what he was doing. He's he doesn't care. <laughs> he doesn't care. Uh, uh, yeah, I know that does. I mean, I I, I also don't mind. But then you jumped on. Down. You jumped. Yeah, like you were, you were, you were apologizing that one night because I you had some dreams yeah. and you had a conversation about your backstory and stuff and the, like there's no point yeah. in apologizing for that. Like you're yeah. you're getting some screen time and you're you're I mean you're adding to the lore of the game. Everybody's awesome. got yeah yeah. I wish y'all talked more. Otherwise I wish I'd just, never talk. Otherwise, it's just me and Anthony talking. Though. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I've been enjoying Gillard and uh, and and Thren working together, even though it gets me bit <laughs> and, and cut yeah. and sliced. But it's Quincy horrible. doesn't mind getting bit. <laughs> he just keeps telling like, Thren. Quincy, Thren, it's okay. Quincy, Quincy's a masochist. <laughs> <laughs> like, can you imagine? It's like it's like we're about to go to bed, and Quincy's just like. <laughs> He just starts cutting his hand, and he's like, "Take that!" And then, then he goes to sleep, gets his rage back, doesn't care anymore. Yeah. <laughs> if I'm raging, do I leak less blood? <laughs> yeah, Maybe there wouldn't even be yeah. any point in raging. Yeah. If I rage, I wouldn't. I wouldn't lose any blood for him. Did we? Uh, did we long rest? I don't. No. Think. We now still haven't. No, we finished the. the Actually, 
I thought we said we were going to. Maybe some people did take some long rest in the morning. I didn't get to the it's end. It's four of o'clock it. in the afternoon. Yeah, the the hollow spell ended at four o'clock. Yeah, and but we wouldn't. We would have. Did we say we were sleeping in shifts? Or something? I d- I don't I remember. Did, did Rask and Urus show back up yet? No. Yes. Yeah, I said they would. Have. Yes, yeah. because I think Seth told. Well, I think we got confirmation that. Yeah, all oh, y'all were together when they, they explained. Because I think Seth explained that what we did to the second <laughs> vampire yeah. killed her, yeah. and what they explained to us is that the other one is not dead. It's almost certainly not dead. Yeah. So you didn't. You didn't do it. Uh, and I, you know that now. I have thought of so many different scenarios on how to finish her. And I know what I'm going to do. You going to hang on to that information? You want to? No, I'm going to hang on to it. <laughs> okay. I'm going to hang on to it because it's it's needed. It's okay. needed. It's yeah, he's like I strangle her, and so I was like, vampires don't have to breathe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I went way too gentle. Didn't have enough passion that night, you know. Yeah. I'm going to make up for that. <laughs> I think Giller's getting addicted to potions of growth. <laughs> and mind reading. Dustin, <laughs> Dustin's <laughs> so addicted to potions of growth. I want a big is, mini now. Oh, dude, yeah. I, like big Thordak, G. I loved it when people would cast growth on me. Yeah. I love Big G. No, no, I think I think he's getting addicted. I think like, he's just like, he's just like I, I, got, I got a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> I have to be big every It's like steroids. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I have three ideas for the next campaign of, of, of three different characters. Do you want to tell us? I might tell you like two of them. Well, that, that's the third one's the one he wants to play. <laughs> the one's the edge. I'll tell you all three of them. No, all, no all not right. exactly. Uh, let's see, the werewolf, actually. Okay. But the way I was going to do it is... The play sh- the vampire and need to play werewolf next, yeah. Mm-hmm. And, and then werewolf. he can play Frankenstein. And then he'll be kind of. Are you talking about uh, Matt's class? No. No? no. This is something that? I came up kind of with. Not. It's not like a... Are you talking about a race werewolf? Not yeah. class Shift. Werewolf. Well, class, too, because of Path of the Beast in uh, Tasha's. Path of the Beast. Barbarian. So you're barbarian. Talking about barbarian. Okay. Yeah, the werewolf barbarian. Because yeah. you know, there's a the yeah the what blood, is Matt's class? blood hunter blood blood, blood hunter, hunter has yeah. an actual werewolf class. Yeah. No, this this is a the shifter race. Uh, the new one in Morden Kanan's uh, presents what is it? Monsters of the Multiverse. Um, oh, yeah. I was having seen the new one. In in that one, there is the shifter race, which actually has I think it's like four different versions of it. The one I always want to go with is Longtooth, which basically whenever you shift into kind of a werewolf form, you get a bite attack as a bonus action, and it lasts for one minute. Uh, also, you get some temporary hit points, and then go Path of the Beast and use Claws as the... Uh, when you rage, you grow Claws. Oh my goodness, that would actually be really good. You get... By 5th level, you'll be able to do four attacks by 5th level. With that, just just because why, why, what's the bite attack? The bite attack is bonus action. The claw attacks you, by fifth level, you get three claw attacks. But the claw time. attack, the offhand claw, is a bonus action. Is there no, something no, for I'm, I'm talking about like uh, extra so, attack for barbarian. You get two attacks, but with that particular subclass, if you choose claws, you get one extra one on top of that. So you get so four. You just get oh, three I see what you're saying. Three so and a bonus so if you grow two claws, you get so you can make yeah, three, one of those as part of your attack. Yeah, and then That's bonus crazy. action bite attack. That's crazy. You don't get any like extra health or anything like that, but from it. But I just thought it'd be kind of like just for what's the damage on it. D six, uh, and D six for the bite too. Does it get bigger like it's a monk? Good. No, like a does it scale with like does the damage from the path of beast scale no, up? No, but you're raging, so it gets an additional plus two. Also, you can choose between a swing speed and a climbing speed at sixth level, and there's some. Can you choose stuff. every time, or is it a single choice? I think it's every time. Yeah, I can. I'm a swimming werewolf. I'm a climbing werewolf. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and it scales with your your movement speed too, so it's not like you just get thirty feet. You right, get, right. You the fly, the 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 mobility items that give fly based off movement speed are superior to here's thirty speed thirty feet of fly. Those suck. The other class, or one of the other classes, is a uh, rune knight fighter. Hmm. That new book that uh, Big B presents. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That the, one, one, the one with the AI art. I know which one. Yeah. I hated that, but I do like some of the magic in it because there's like a bunch of different runes that you can learn. If you take this background and you take a feat, or you can be a martial class, I think, too, and take a feat, uh, you can learn runic magic and you can carve it into clothing or uh, carve it into. Was this like the rune version of the Artificer? 
Kind of. So an artificer and a rune knight in a party would be absolute busted. Yeah, except for the rune knight is a fighter, and they don't get as much stuff. It's like all like level one spells. It's their, they're third casters. So yeah. yeah, it's all. So we have a paladin. What are you? You don't Actually, I'm writing Depends down on my characters else. that I've been thinking of right now. If he's a paladin, I can't be one. If he's not a paladin, paladin. The other thing I thought about doing is a cleric, but I'm not sure which one. I really like Twilight. The, I like Twilight, <laughs> but I also like Peace Domain. It's so good. Peace Domain is really cool looking too. <laughs> yeah, Twilight I think is the strongest. I like the. Uh, yeah. I like the the grave one too, or the the, the grave clerics are good. Decomposition good one. That one's cool. I heard something today. It was pretty cool. They were talking about the uh, insect swarming. Ranger yeah, infestation, but instead of making it uh, just talk to your DM, and instead of it being um, insects, just make it an element type that you could switch around and stuff, so that you're like instead of covered in bees, you're covered in fire. Or I love or the flavor of a ranger. There's yeah. so many different things you can do with yeah. rangers. And that steel wind strike is a ranger skill. That, it is. That That's a sweet spell. I yeah, usually you don't hear about rangers casting because they have to be like 15th level to get it. And what ranger uses a sword? <laughs> true, true. Yeah, that's also Hurst. a good point. That one I, I was using? Yeah. He had he had that bone club. Yeah. He had a bow too. But. Well, the, the most edgy of edgy rangers ever uses two scimitars. Druids. No, oh, the one from the book? Yeah. yeah. Geralt. That's who I thought you were talking about. Two scimitars. He has a black panther. He's a dark elf. Yeah. And he has two. Books. He's a official D and D character. Yeah. I think I have a mini. You have of a mini of him. Yeah. Yeah. Bedridged. Yeah, he has two um, magical scimitars. I won't tell you what I'm playing, but I only have one idea for a character. And you're not telling. Not telling. Oh, I mean, I'll tell you when the time comes. Oh yeah. Keeping it secret, just like the barbarian, huh? Kind of, but that wasn't really a. And yeah, I, that wasn't supposed to happen. I'll tell y'all what, like, like, we ought to, and this would be a lot of work, and we should not do it because it'd be so much work, but like, we, like, if we wanted to kind of get serious about what we're doing, we ought to put out a Kickstarter and make a commoner's book. Oh my gosh, that would be so bad. It would. It'd be horrible. But like, you get it out to some of those bigger names and you would get your name out there probably because Kickstarter seems to just work for people. I don't know. It wouldn't if we did it. It might not. <laughs> Dude, Twitch doesn't work. YouTube doesn't work. It's impossible. It is. It's so hard. Well, I, it, I, it just takes one. I watched video. a video of a guy who was already an established Twitch and YouTube streamer and he wanted to know how hard it was for a new up-and-comer. So he started a YouTube page using a, an unknown alias, brand new page, and just and this was with him already famous. Just like, I wonder how many people will come to. He would say it was so difficult. And this is somebody who's been successful at it for like several years. Because there's, there's no. There's it's just. And then hard. you hear Mr. B say, "Yeah, I can make any channel blow up." Mr. Beast is full of crap. <laughs> yeah, I. Yeah, well, I, yeah, you heard me. <laughs> no, I saw. You some, ain't curing no blindness. They're just having cataracts. I saw a similar, very similar thing. Uh, an established rapper and an established beat maker producer guy put out a song under an alias to see if it would blow up, and it didn't do anything. And they went through all the channels because they thought they knew how they could make it go, and it didn't. I think it might be now. I think it kind of just randomly got popular, but. <laughs> but yeah, they put out a whole video documenting the process. It's interesting. Because you never, and, and then it just takes one thing, and suddenly you're big. Like, if you come up with one idea, and it could, you could hey, blow my, up. My Hogwarts Legacy short got 1,900 views. I was talking about that earlier. Yep. Yep. Yeah, and the stupid one of Seth and the motorcycle home, I got 1,400. Yeah. There's no, there's no rhyme or reason. Well, I've, I, I watched the video after I made that video, and... And there's like a whole thing on shorts and how to make them and, and like what you need to do to maintain their popularity. So for that video that I made, had I ended it right at the, the night getting his ass whooped, I probably would still be getting views, possibly. Because there's that dead segment where I like tried to heal him because I was screwing around when I was playing. Because I was like, I didn't, I didn't know. I didn't know if I could heal. I was like, let's try it. Repair it. Oh, Nothing happened. So I was like, okay, whatever. I shouldn't have, I should have kept any of that in the video because no one that stayed to watch that that's dead time at the end of the short, and the more that happens, the less the algorithm stops recommending it to other people. So it got really popular because it got a lot of views all at once, and then after about 1,900, people stopped watching the ending enough that it stopped getting recommended, and now it doesn't get any more views at all. 
So oh. that's it, it's just like a whole thing on like it's science, making, dude. Yeah, it's it's insane. It's, I, I hate it. it. I the problem too. is I do it for us. I do it for my band. I do it for my business. I'm constantly trying to do social media stuff, and I absolutely hate it. I hate short form content. I like doing the highlights. That's I hate all content. There's a video you ought to watch. It was um, have y'all heard of the the game theory movie film theory guys? Yeah, the the theory channels. They have food theory, game theory, Pixar theory. Is it that those no, guys? Not those guys. Uh, they might. Mm, I don't know. I think you're talking about the Super Carlin Brothers. Yeah, that's no, I mean. no. This okay. is they. There, it's called Film Theory, Game Theory. They have it's the same guys, and they have like four different channels. Okay, where they talk about stuff. And they, this dude was talking the other day. He's like, I can fix Disney, and he was talking about how like Disney needs to look at the, to, so huh. Disney has so many problems. Well, he, they're so detached. It's a very good audience. video, but he's just like they need to start thinking of it like YouTube companies are thinking, like YouTube channels are like. He's like, if you take, so he, he talked about their like last five movies, and like one of them was really good. The the Guardians, Guardians. of the Galaxy was really good. Really good. Um, but he's like, if if you would have just released these movies in a different order, because they went stinker, stinker, stinker. And then Guardians. Guardians. Yep. He's like, if you would have been, if you'd have just moved this, and they should know if there's, there's, you know, like, he's like, we here at our channel, we have things that we know are going to pop off. We have certain things that we know people are going to enjoy. They're going to watch it every single time, but we can't flood the market with it. So we know that. So we like, we plan our videos months in advance. And if we have one that we're like, maybe this will be good, we're going to put it right in the middle of two for sure good things. So people are happy this week. And then they're going to be happy the week after. And if we have something that might not hit, they're not going to be too upset with us. And then if that hits, then we can start putting that into the plan. They're like that is what Disney needs to start doing. They're just throwing all this money. It was a very good video. I need to share it with y'all. They're they're also very detached from their audience <laughs> they too. Are. Yeah, highly detached. Yeah, but it was a good video, and like, mm-hmm. and that's kind of like. It's it's so methodical about what you have to do, and I think that's what Mr. Beast talks about. He's like he's like I could make it, but like it's it's certain saturations of of your light levels. It's it's what your your thumbnail has to look like. It's it's all these things that he spent. He's he's like me and th- three other dudes spent ten thousand hours together. Like I put in so many hours together, it was collectively ten thousand hours, and we're figuring out how to build a YouTube channel. Yeah, I just it's it's just it's so a career. Stupid though. Yeah, I mean, and but and that's have, why you can't do yeah. it in with <clears throat> your extra time. Right, right, right. Can't be done. Absolutely, dude. Perfect talked about it in their documentary. They're yeah. like. They were like, it was killing us because we all had different jobs. We were all living in different places. And then we were all having to drive like two hours to meet up at a point and film a video. And we're like, if we're going to do this, we have to do this. And but they it, quit their jobs. They talked to their wives. They, they quit their jobs. At that time, and like, they also had already had organic growth of hundreds sure. of thousands of subscribers, though. And that's that's the thing is you can't have – there's no – they had a starting point. There's like, nothing organic. Hey, there's a chance you, that we can make it. Point. Yeah, yeah. You can't just like if me and AJ quit our jobs. Right <laughs> yeah, now, we're not so. at the point right now yeah, that we, we, can we all would quit be. Our jobs. We'd be like Seth if you don't support us. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, see, that's the thing. Like, if we had a base, it would be a thing. We could go. Yeah, let's go all in at this point. And if we all put all of our full energy, it will go. And that was what the point that they were at. It it's, also doesn't it wouldn't surprise me to find out there's also a lot of naturally occurring backers, people who are a part of the project that have a lot of money they can just throw at it, which none of us have. I know I don't. I can put yeah. time in it when I can, and I can, there's work I can do, but I don't have money just to throw at stuff. Well, I can tell you the only moderately successful thing that I'm a part of is my band, and it's all been completely organic because I – we don't do a bunch of social media crap. We have stuff that I post or do whatever. Our first album got hardly, it, it like took forever to get any listens. And it's been like four years. This album that we just put out ha- is still getting hundreds of streams a week. And there's no difference other than we've been out there that length of time. Right. Four or five years and we play a lot of yeah, shows. You said we're coming up on 10,000 video or listens on our podcast. And our podcast did for some reason organically grow double yeah. the size over literally overnight. Well, I, I think don't know that it's because like you said we put in so many so many episodes. I mean, doing it was very smart of us to decide, "Hey, let's do a site in common" because that's just an extra episode yeah. that we did. And then all the stuff that you've done with your family, that's just extra episodes. Yeah. And if we were really good about if we could really play once a month, that's two things that well, we post we were until, right. until everything that happens. Life before. happens. Yeah. It happens. Yeah. You know, because this is not our job. Yeah. But, like, I, I wonder 
and I'm not, I really am not banking this, like taking care of me, you know, 50 years from now. I'm not. That's just a funny thing to say. Yeah. But yeah. like, we at what point common. is it going, could it get to 10,000 and then jump to 20,000? I think so. Because it, it, the more listens, it goes further up in the algorithms, right? That's the thing. Well, he, here's the deal. There are, I don't know, it could be thousands. I know there's hundreds of D&D podcasts. Mm-hmm. We are in probably the top 10% of D&D podcasts as far as listens because people put out four episodes, they have no listens, and they quit. And we didn't do that. We keep putting them out. And if you have 50 listeners and you get 50 listens every time you put one out, by the time you put out 200 episodes, you've got thousands of listens, even if it's just 50 people. And so, yeah, that's what puts you up in the algorithm and being current. We're more current than most of the D&D podcasts. Yeah. So that's the deal is if you hang around long enough and you keep putting out new stuff, people will find it. This and something. that's what we do have going for us. I, I, I've been playing D&D now for a long time. And the YouTube world has changed. There used to be like uh, Taking 20 or something like that. I don't even know if he makes videos anymore. There was one dude who was like, who was Dawn Forge cast. He got canceled. Dude, I don't uh, know what See, I've never even watched Dungeon Dudes. That seems like a kind of a newer thing. I watched that one video you sent, and you never answered. What what kind of DM am I? What oh, wow. what what class am I? <laughs> but uh, there's this one dude, like Triant Monk. I like him. He's a pretty big one. Uh, D4. Have y'all seen any of his stuff? There's a bunch of them. I've seen D4s, D6s, D10s, and D20s. <laughs> D4. He he like he just makes builds. Like that's all he does. He makes. That's the one you sent me. That that was yeah, yeah, yeah that yeah. was awesome. Yeah. Would love to do a two man campaign. Yeah. What's up, guys? Hey. So there's just like all kinds like that. The the YouTube uh, creator world has changed so much since I was starting. Yes, sir, okay, it, oh, it's God, it's kind of wild. Y'all can squeeze together. And then you got Critical Role. I mean, they are the god. They're the, they're, they're, the they're on the top of the level. Like, and and they're basically leaving D and D officially. I do, so. I think it's gonna fail them. I, it's a Probably. D12 system, a double D12 There's, system. Wait, wait, are you talking about Candle Obscura? Dagger Heart. Dagger oh, Heart. See, I haven't seen Dagger I, I think I've it's a double D12 system. Candle Obscure is a D6 system. That's not their official platform. The, the right. official one I have not heard anything about. I think about. it's called Heart, and I a think it's D12 a, a, a D12 system. system. That's not, that doesn't yeah. sound... They're making, well, they're making two. I think it's going to fail. They're making two systems. But they might be big enough that it won't. I don't know. They, they're probably big enough that it won't. I listened to them answering some questions the other day, and they're they're kind of that. Like they all had their own things, and I guess some of them still have it. But like, no, they they do. Travis now is the CEO of Critical yeah, Role. Yeah. Marisha is like she's big up in there. She's a producer. I yeah, think. I think Laura Laura is just too big of a voice actor to stop. Travis is too. Yeah, they they do so much work. I, I can I do watch enough anime animated stuff like I do, and I'll be like, that's Laura. Yeah, that's Travis. Yeah. That is Liam because he has a great voice. I was watching Marvel. Uh, I, I just got Disney Plus for free through my through, for, through Verizon, and I have it at least until December. So I've been enjoying the crap out of it. Mm. And I was watching Avengers Assemble, and uh, Liam does uh, the Skull uh, Red Skull's voice. I was like, man, he has a good German accent. He has a good like evil German accent. Mm-hmm. Liam's voice is great. I don't hear Sam ever, and every now and then I think he's in the directing sphere now most. Like, right, and every now and then Matt will pop in, and he'll be like a big bat or something. Yeah. But Matt Laura, I think, around. is the most famous of them all. I think. Oh, for sure. Well, she was Serana. Who? In Skyrim. In Skyrim. Skyrim. Oh. Oh, uh, She was. She was. She was big, and I mean, she uh, didn't change her name when she got the married. last. She was Last of Us too. Yeah. yeah. Speaking of Matt Mercer, he's actually in Baldur's Gate yeah. as oh, Minsk. I bet. Oh, I bet they're cool. all in Baldur's Gate. And they maybe I, I just know they that like he's are. playing Minsk in particular. Yeah. Cool. Wait, was Laura was in Last of Us? Or I thought Ashley yeah. Johnson was. Ashley Johnson was the main girl, but uh, in, the, in the Last of Us Part Two, Laura okay, was the I bad pl- chick. I, played I think it. you actually played as her too, though, right? Oh yeah, Abby. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Laura's been in a bunch of stuff. Laura was in. She was big in the uh, Nathan Drake series. Um, yeah, she's. I think she's the biggest voice actor. I can. I can always tell, especially her, Travis, and Matt, and Matt's voice. I can always spot. Oh, and Liam's. I can spot all their voices. Now, Talison, I never hear either. I don't know how much. I don't know. I don't know what he does. Yeah. I think he's like the main antagonist in that Pillars of Eternity 2 Deadfire or whatever. Oh, I think they, they all did Deadfire. Yeah. It sponsored Critical Role during yeah. Season 2. Anyway, what were, what were we saying about? Um, we were just talking about the grind. The, yeah, the grind oh, is yeah. real. 
Well, I, yeah, I, well, I was just going to say, like, uh, probably a year ago, we had, like, between 30 and 50 listeners or something. We've got, like, 150 now. So. Oh, nice. Yeah, I, it was exponential. All of a I, well, I say we had that many listeners. I don't know. And I know still that, won't reach out to us. I know that when we... But Seth is six of them. When we put up... I listen to the campaign a lot. Well, when we, when we put up an episode, like, when we put this... Well, when we put up the next <laughs> campaign episode, because Satan Common does about half of the rest of it does. When That's we amazing. when we put up the campaign episode, it'll have a hundred listens in a week, and then it'll go up from there. Nice. So there's there's probably at least a hundred people that are caught up in listening, and the most listened to episode is episode one all the time. That's cool, but yeah, I don't know I don't know how try. often they stay with you know? it. But yeah, yeah but it's because we're we're getting up there in the algorithm now because we're one of the higher listen yeah. listen counts, and I think yeah I think ten thousand will be a big one for us. That would be. That's a lot of listens for a podcast. Yeah. Yeah. The next step is what? 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 What number are you looking for after ten thousand? Fifty or a hundred? Just doubling from here on. Oh, I don't know what would feel big after ten, and I, I don't know that ten's gonna be like. Oh yeah, now we get. Now we've got five hundred listeners just because we have ten thousand. But I think it would be a big mile. I think it would do something. Oh, no, probably twenty. I'd like to see how how quick we got to twenty after we got ten. Mm-hmm. What's what's the number on the first episode right now? I have no idea. So, I mean, it's hundreds of listens. It's awesome though. I just wish we were better role players back then. We yeah. were. I know. But I think we. Did, I think we improved. I think we we figured it out in a <laughs> in four episodes. Episode four sounds good. Good role play. Yeah, you apologize in like the second episode. Like this was not a good. Well, wh- but like I just listened to the whole campaign and like that first episode. Well, no, I guess it's. Did people listen to the the session zero very much? Probably. I think it's the session zero. We got Cameron talking into a phone. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, the session zero. No, I wasn't talking into a phone. I was talking into my headset. Okay. <laughs> Either way, it wasn't recorded well. Yeah. It was, yeah, it was and good. then it was obvious after oh, the first episode. This is our <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, After. Also in the session zero, when when you had Jack's first introduced to me, yeah. I think I just talked in my normal voice. <laughs> <laughs> well, we. I mean, I figured out after after like mixing the first episode, I was like, this isn't gonna work. And it we, helps that we're always in different rooms. <laughs> yeah, this room's really good. Yeah. Anthony's house is really good. Your house is an echo well, chamber. Turn that off, or is the fan okay? I don't know. I haven't paid attention. It's fine. I it's gonna get. I hot feel in bad here, because my kid, my wife, and my kid severely, and and Tate's kid, like I, I, it don't bother me, but like. I, I hate it for listeners. Yeah. Yeah. There's there's just been a couple episodes that happened. Yeah. Yeah. And it doesn't bother me because I'm surprised I, Cynthia hasn't showed up today. And she has she's called not, you. She's, she's called, called me three times. She said time. she said I will not call again unless it's an emergency. So Okay. Well I believe we want to see it. <laughs> but she's she's that not means, coming here. That means if she calls, he's going Brianna to tried to get her to come here. I was like, I don't want y'all to do that. <laughs> It's just like Cynthia always. She hates it when we play at your house, but she always ends up wherever we. Are. Every time. Yeah, that's absolutely true. It's like, yeah, you sure do hate D and D. You're always here. She's our one. Next time she shows up, just have her a character sheet ready. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want Emberlin is wet. like Maverick's cute, you know. He'll like talk. Emberlin would just scream the whole time. <laughs> oh yeah, I had a kid, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Which is why it's been so long. Well, last no, time. I take it's the, my fault. July oh, was no, my that's fault. True. That's true. It's me. July was. It my will forgot. always be me. Yeah. From now, from henceforth. Nah. You can get married here in a month or two. Yeah, a and, month or two. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and oh, you're engaged. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> if, uh, but, <laughs> but she she popped by the the stream and let him know. <laughs> what did she say on the stream? I, I'm look missing. at that cutie in the top she corner. Always to, <laughs> she always has to pop in and say something. That's awesome. <laughs> Usually it's on my stream though. Luckily, so nobody sees it but me. But then she that's gets not on. true. That that means it pops up on your your I PlayStation. Muted it. You turned that I off. Turned it off. <laughs> Yeah, well, it, it was because bots would pop in there and say, oh, artwork for your stream or whatever, and it takes up half the screen because it's such a big message. For a low, low cost, we'll get you streaming good. Yeah, like get that crap off my screen while I'm trying to stream. I'll just, like, I'll, I'll hear it, and I'll freeze, and then when it'll be done, I'll be like, AJ, did you get that? And he'll be like, what? Nothing. 
Because <laughs> usually they'll roll through Twitch and hit everybody. Yeah, hit all. Because usually it'll, it'll hit me, it'll hit AJ, then it'll hit commoners yeah. later on, and it'll pop up big old block. Of but text. yeah, I just always I don't even look at. I, I watch our stream manager on my tablet in front of me, so I can see if people are chatting on that. But I don't even pay attention to my own streams. So if people are saying something, I don't. Dude, see. we streamed a whole night muted. I felt like crap. <laughs> <laughs> We've all done in something like uh, that. <laughs> I was able to fix it for the YouTube upload, but oh, Sarger didn't show up that night, needless to say. Yeah, otherwise we would have known. I would have known. Must not have been anybody watching. No, but if anyone watches the YouTube, though, I was able to pull the audio from my stream because there's a lot we have a lot of redundancy going on i could grab aj's i can grab mine yeah um i'm trying to cut talk malachi into streaming because mm. i think he's actually pretty good at what he does at dead by daylight so hey that'll take the focus off of me getting killed in 4.3 seconds <laughs> i'm like there's the killer dead oh <laughs> uh, it's okay i only tripped on a bush <laughs> uh. or, i broke the fall with my neck <laughs> tyrell somehow he conveniently knows <laughs> Convenient hook. <laughs> yeah, it's always a convenient hook. How does he know where I am? I really, some of the times I don't get how they know where Ma you are. Malachi will pleasantly remind us, hey guys, I have the thing that makes the distance of the hooks further apart. Well, Tyrell's like, well, this one's right behind me. So. <laughs> oh, convenient hook. <laughs> oh boy, let's shut this thing down. Yeah, Anthony yeah. says he's going to be late, but that's all we're waiting we, on at this point. We have no food. We ought to, We might need to order something. Yeah, we need to figure that out. Okay, Our go food has been taken from us go go check out all the stuff all the social medias yeah yeah and youtube for sure stop by yeah check out our youtube channel we got a bunch of content on there stuff drops every day on like except for the days we stream on mondays and fridays on Tiger twitch Skull. <laughs> that's a thing and tiger skull rpg common commoners 30 for 30 percent off everything in the store yeah. and also check out the kickstarter for the scattered remains it's really really cool it's like a billion different skeleton poses so dude we could use some skeleton poses in this dude are we gonna do a halloween game Oh, we totally should. We can't even get together once a month. I don't know how we're going to do an extra one. Well, you need to leave your girlfriend, AJ. I really don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's not, that's not I'd even be, the problem. Uh, we